Yeah. There's that. There's that audio. There it is. It's like the best startup ever. <laughs> uh, it's so good. It's so good. And remember, as is tradition, we watch the intro. We watch the intro. As is tradition. Man. I'm still so happy with how good this thing deinterlaces and swaps resolution. It's crazy. No, no upscaler in the market can do it as well as this thing. It's like instant, instant resolution switches. And there are no devices on the market that have as good looking deinterlacing. So I'm very happy with this. Crystal Ortha and the Legend of the Tetrarchs. Never heard of that. What kind of game is that? Like, you said RPG, but what kind of RPG? Turn-based RPGs, nothing fancy. Ports of mobile games. Oh, oof. Having a strange occurrence here. I have no picture of my CRT again. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'll mess with that after the intro. I don't know, Tom Barry. The question is, do you think it's overrated? I think it's one of the few games to live up to its rating. I wonder how long we're going to have to be this Lynx guy. Pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, let me mess with my monitor. It didn't get wet, so I don't really understand. Nothing changed since yesterday. Oh, now it's working. Okay, that was weird. Okay, turn it off and on again. <laughs> Let's play a video game. Let me make sure I got the right settings on this tank, because that could be it too. Sometimes that's what it is. We were in super awesome ambient sound place last time. When you finally got to play Chrono Trigger, you had hyped it up so much in your mind, it didn't live up to it. I didn't even know what I was going to get when it came out, except that I thought it looked cool. Like, that's really where it's at. Look cool. You know, because all we really had was, like, previews in Nintendo Power and gaming magazines before it came out. Follow the Ace Attorney trilogy holds up for the standard eight, right? Yeah, exactly, Zaparo. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Hi, you have pizza. Underscan, perfect. Correct horizontal sampling, sharp interpolation, no scan lines, triple buffering on motion adaptive deinterlacing. We don't use that. Full color space, slow pass filter, yes please. We don't need a light gun border or 240p downscale. We are good. 
We are good. We are good. Hi, you have pizza. What did you, what kind of pizza did you get me? You didn't get to play it until they re-released the PS1 games, Final Fantasy Chronicles. Oh, that might have affected it then. Because, like, the PS1 games have those load times on them. Yo, Mr. 10K, how you feeling today, man? Are we ready? For the ambiance? The ambiance. The ambiance. Here. Poor Mog, he probably hates how it smells over here. Yeah, he doesn't like it over here now because it smells weird. PS1 Chrono Trigger borders on an unplayable for you, even the menu required load times. Yeah, the Chrono Trigger version of, or PS1 version of Chrono Trigger is nasty. So I could see that diminishing your experience. How's tonight's run? We just started, Dankle. Um, though tonight started in a disaster. I spilled tea all over my desk and it got in the keyboard, and on the mouse, under the mixer, under the vocal, it just got on everything is scary but I have my mechanical keyboard drying for the next 20 hours and I'm using my spare for now so hopefully we're good PS1 Chrono Trigger was rough hardest part were puzzle games and lean square oh man it's that bad huh you know, one thing I did notice about those PS1 ports of Super Nintendo games is they often had input lag. They often had input lag. Like, you hit a button and it was like a couple frames before it would adjust. It's really weird. Mr. Darkens, thank you for that gift sub to Tengu. Tengu Gemini. Tengu, enjoy those finny bears and the ad free experience. It's good to have you all here. Hope you're having a good weekend. Whatever that weekend means to you, of course. All right, let's 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 go down. Let's go down. Isn't this place just a total mood? It's a total mood. Like, just the visual, the audio and the visual here is amazing. But yeah, here, let's demonstrate for those of you who haven't seen the 5X. Um, this game has been a problem for streamers for ever. Because it's one of those games where when you go into the menu, it changes resolution. Right. Mog's inspecting all the weird stuff on the floor. So it just did it that instantly. 480, 480 interlaced, 240p. So 480 interlaced, 240p. Just, it's like there's no delay at all. It's nuts. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. Uh, and the interlacing is so good that you can read the text. You can read the text. It's clear. Which means I'm excited to actually stream PS2 games again. I've been kind of shying away from them because of the fact that it always looked like crap on stream. Hey, Moggy boy. You want to lay down? Do you want to look around? He's looking around because things are different. I had to take the whole my giant mouse pad off the desk because it was soaked. It was soaked. You guys want to say hi to Mog? You want to say hi to Mog? You since played the DS version, so after that you notice the load times. Hey, as long as you... I mean, at the end of the day, no one's saying you have to like the game, right? We're just trying to make the whole conversation is the game over, right? Hey, little dude. How you doing? You want to say hi to the camera? He went to the vet today. He had his annual vet, vet visit. He got his rabies shots. And his rabies shots and some other shot. 
I don't remember what it's called. Sample my goods. <laughs> the goods are nuts number 053. Do I smell like the tea mog? Maybe. Yo, Wex, how are you, dude? We're saying hi to Mog right now. He's hanging out. He's hanging out. Thank you, Stadaski, for 28, bu uh, 28 bits. You done? He's done. Okay. He's done. He's going to go examine the mouse pad and all that stuff over there. He's not used to seeing it over there, so he's a little cautious. You don't like that, do you, Mog? Just don't lay on my mixer, okay? Are you coming back? No. Eh, 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 don't play with that. I gotta babysit him. <laughs> One of the best things about CT is it's pacing. The game goes by fast. Yeah, it's really well paced. Yeah. Mog. Mog. Why are you distracting us? What are you doing, little guy? Do you want to come over here? No. A game about time travel better have good pacing. <laughs> Wow, Sandaski, thank you. So, this is the actual second way I ever got to play this game. This is Final Fantasy Anthology. And it was the first English release of Final Fantasy V ever. Official. I was saying official. But I had played it before this. Because there was, it was one of the first Super Nintendo games to get a fan translation. Why burns exactly? <laughs> Dankle nose. <laughs> uh, so I had actually played Final Fantasy V first on ZSNES with my cousin, because it was like Final Fantasy VI, and I think even four you could play multiplayer. Like you could set characters to be under certain controllers' control. It's still turn-based, so, you know, it was whatever, but you were still playing together with somebody. There you go, Wyverns, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this came with Final Fantasy V and VI. I never could get through six on this because I had six on the Super Nintendo, and the PS1 ports are good, but they have load times, and the, the sound and the music is all kind of distorted and warbly. It sounds like early emulation. Like you, if you ever played emulators in like the 90s and early 2000s, the music and the sound was always off, wasn't it? Like it wasn't perfect, you could tell right away. And it was the same with these two ports. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't the same. Did you take turns walking around? I think we did, yeah. I think we did, Snedaski. The translation errors drive Eagle Falcon nuts when he's streaming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it did have the six. It did have the additional content. It had some FMVs too, like the Opera House and whatnot. Uh, but it wasn't worth it to me. It was not as fun. The Japanese version of Chrono Trigger on PS One doesn't have the load time issues. Well, that's weird. Okay, Mog. Yeah, go in your bed, not on the mixer. But let's open this up. Let's open this up. Why are we showing this? Because Mr. Darkens did a show retro thing. Well, look who it is. Look who it is. We're showing a retro thing. In fact, this is a retro thing that the Strange himself streamed on his PS3. He had to get a different copy than this version. Did you know, and we learned this in the Strange's channel, thank you for the raid, that if you play the black label of Final Fantasy V on your PS3, it has a bug where it soft locks 90% of the time in the save menu. <laughs> Only Black Label Final Fantasy V on a PS3 will do that. It's really weird. 
I had to do that whole research for him. Like he was trying to stream it like a year or two ago. Number 111. Thanks, Belvin. Jesus. <laughs> he was trying to stream it like a year or two ago. And he kept like soft lock game with soft lock every time he tried to save. So we, we, we had to look it up and we're like, okay, you're going to have to get the greatest hits version. It has that bug fixed. So that's what he ended up doing. Because it wasn't that much. It was like 15 bucks or whatever. But yeah, this is uh, Final Fantasy Anthology. Anyway, welcome everybody from The Strangest Channel. I hope your stream was good, man. What were you doing tonight? What were you doing tonight? Oh, what's up, Seamus? I know there's going to be some familiar faces from that channel. That bug sucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It drove me nuts. That's why I was like, I got to figure this out for him. It's going to drive me insane otherwise. When things don't work right, it doesn't make sense. I have to figure it out. I, it's required. Now, sadly, this is not complete. I don't have the manual. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. But there's Final Fantasy V right there. Um, and then we have two things. We have Final Fantasy VI right here. But we also have a soundtrack CD, music from Final Fantasy V and VI. So that's really cool. They still got the soundtrack CD in there. Yeah, I don't have the manual, sadly. So it's not complete. You know, as a collector, I'd like it to be complete, but, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, you know? So maybe someday. Maybe someday. What was that? That was another alert. There's alerts going off. Darkens, you just gave a tier three to Strange. Holy crap. Oh, heartburn. Oh, my God. Just out of nowhere. Oh. There you go. Tier 3. Tier 3. This is what you get for a tier 3, Mr. Spawn. You get a special sound effect that only you can play. Forever. Forever. You can change it if you keep it month to month. So, yeah. No manual, but that was a retro thing. Anyway, Strange, thanks for thinking of my channel. Thanks for thinking of my channel for your uh, raid. Well, I'm curious what he was up to today. Finishing some Hollow Knight DLC. Oh, that game is amazing. Hollow Knight is incredibly good. That's like the best Metroidvania I've ever played. It somehow is better than Super Metroid. It just is. <laughs> it just is. Manual for Final Fantasy V helpful. Breaks down all the jobs and abilities. Oh, wow. Nice. Ah! I was looking at chat. Drive safe, Seamus. So we are playing Chrono Cross casually. We're using this on our new upscaler called a Retro Tink 5X. Which means that Chrono Cross is now streamable without any issues. For the first time in forever. <laughs> For the first time. Uh. Man, that thing is not dead. Holy crap. Seamus recommended. Oh. Well, thanks, Seamus. Yeah, uh, we like Carl around here. We um, raffle off the naming rights of every character in every RPG. So the names you're seeing might not align with what you're used to. <laughs> it's part of the fun. Where are we right now? It's pretty much right after you get turned into Lynx. We got a bunch of new teammates. So we're kind of just roaming around and doing that. That's basically what we're doing. We're just, we got, we got a boat to explore homeworld as Lynx, where Surge, or in our game, Guy, is still alive. So he's trying to convince everyone that he's Guy. It's not working very well. Spoilers. Oh, he hasn't played it. I thought he played this. Darn. Ah! Bum, bum. Yeah, I need to do that, Melvin. Yeah, we need the concert. We need Mickey. He thought I'd be asleep. I get up around two or three your time. Because you're Pacific, right? 
I get up around two or three your time. But I don't start streaming until seven your time. Oh, that's it. That's it. Vixie? We would call you Vixie? That and sure. We'll go with that narrative. <gasps> Mog just had his paws on my channel strip. <laughs> I don't think he moved any of the potentiometers, but let's hope he didn't. Nice crit. Now. Pink lightsaber. I get down with it. Yo, Senpai, how are you? Whatever that was, we slaughtered it. I miss having a kid on our team so we can steal from literally everything that moves. There's just a certain fun to that. Vixie is right? Got it. I get that like every stream, the whole robotic thing. It's like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's fine. But I always tell people why I use these. Star Fragment, nice. I was getting um, ocular migraines like a couple times a month. Uh, it, the theory I came up with was that it was related to eye strain. Because surrounded by monitors, including a CRT, panel light up there, ring light in front of me, and then fill light to the side, right? So there's lights everywhere. So I decided to find some blue blockers, but they had to also be non-polarized because apparently if you use polarized lenses with computer monitors, one lens is dark, the other isn't. It's very disorienting. <laughs> it's not very fun. So, I finally found ones with my style, the whole mirrored circular lens, because I remember seeing John Lennon wear them as a kid in that, when I was an, a kid in the 80s. I always liked the style. So I got these, and I've had two ocular migraines since, and it's been the better part of a year. So I went from two to three a month to two to three a year? Is the estimate so far? I'd say that the theory, the hypothesis that it was eye strain, specifically blue wavelength, was correct. <laughs> That's my empirical evidence. <laughs> it's been a significant reduction. Not mocking me. No, it's fine. I didn't think you were. Some people do. I just, I tell them the same story. And they either feel bad or they don't care and then they don't fit in and they don't stay. <laughs> Wait a minute, why am I taking so much damage? I don't know. That was that was a little scary. Did these things have retaliation damage? Oh, they might actually. Tired, but three-day weekend? Hell yeah, Senpai. Yeah, Monday, right? Was that Memorial Day? Is that right? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was the star fragment I got. I think that was the purpose of this, was to get a star fragment. I actually know where to use that. We discovered that last night, so we're gonna go test that. It was one of the islands. Ready to science everyone. Are you ready to science? It's a lot of fish. A lot of fish here. I think I owe two more wheel spins. Thanks again, everybody, for the support. Spawn for the raid, Belvin for the 20 bucks. Darkens for the gifted tier three. Appreciate you folks very much. Thank you. I 
I like this Moonbeams attack. It's pretty good. One of the two days of the year, you isolate away from the world. I'd like to say I understand Neo, but I think you you know that I don't understand. I just I can empathize. Dude, dude, dang! These things I forgot. It was just all the hit points. My turn, damn it! Bush Basher, there you go. Eh, it was alright. It wasn't the greatest damage. Get him, Harl. I hope we get more teammates tonight so you folks have a chance to name some teammates. I think that's fun. I think it's a fun way to do stream RPG streams. It give you folks a little more ownership over the, the broadcast, the experience itself. Kunu Cruz, yes, yes, Faye. Kunu Cruz. It took me a second. I'm like, hmm, what are they trying to say here? Oh, I get it. <laughs> they are fans of Kunu Cruz. <laughs> you love this game? Yeah, honestly, I really enjoy it myself. It's been nice playing this to find so many fans of the game. I feel like this game is underrated. Danko Marcy is the, the Dragoon, right? Is that right? I forgot to turn on dynamic camera. I like it. Makes it a little more cinematic. A little more cinematic. It's your favorite soundtrack ever. Now this soundtrack is like top 10. <laughs> it's just incredible. Wow! <laughs> Papa, <laughs> Dude, what is going on? <laughs> How many potential party members in this game? It's like 40 something. Yeah. Yo, Papa, thanks for 20 gift subs. What the hell, dude? <laughs> oh, man. What the heck? <laughs> Uh, I owe six spins. All right. Six. Is that right? That's right. Cause we've done one. All right. All right. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Papa Fondy, mad lad. Thank you. 20 gift subs. <laughs> Clinton Cross is a game seven to 10. Music is what makes it 10 to 10. I'd say that's a fair. That's a fair rating. Like, you know, it didn't resonate with everybody. The story and the... What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. Man. Man. Yo, Obi-Wan, how are you? Roast a donut for 20 gift subs? Just here you go. Gift subs. <laughs> Mitsuda is a god, says Faye. I have another viewer here who says that a lot too himself. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, everyone that's gotten a gift sub, thank you. Thank you for being here, first of all. Please enjoy those Finny Bear emotes and the ad free experience. You get a whole month of that here. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, just here you go, support. I'm doing well, Obi Wan. Keyboard issues aside. Miri says, My answer to the question today is Finn, are you looking to get people to fight you? No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Slain, thank you for a gift sub to the community as well. Oh, you got Monolith. Cool. Monolith's good people. 
Man. I don't know what to say. Thank you, everybody, for crazy support. Reg with a gift sub. Orcha, best character. Orcha's the, 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 the chef, right? Apparently, we're in a level five hype train. <laughs> I just, here you go. <laughs> what the hell? RPG chick with the gift sub, Dankle with the gift sub. What the fuck? <laughs> Dark kids with a tier three. Oh man. Oh my God. This is going to be one of those nights, isn't it? <laughs> We're almost at 700. Like, what the fuck? Uh. Channel with another five. <laughs> Ranko with a gifts. <laughs> you like Fargo? I think he likes Orcha. I'm confused. Do you like Fargo or Orcha? Do the thing. I lost count. Chobin with a gift sub. Matthews with 10. <laughs> Uh, Haseo with a hundred bits. I think that's coming up. We'll get there. No, it's, it's not time yet. <laughs> I think we got tier five. Yeah. Level five hype train. Well, I'm sorry if I missed any of your messages, feel free to repost if you need to. Oh, wow. Channel with a tier two gift sub. Wow. I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. <laughs> it started at five. Yeah. Uh, it literally started at five. I don't even know how many spins it is. Yeah, I could use that help. I've done one spin. So what's 80? 80 is 50 is 10, 80 is 16. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Okay. <laughs> There's the hundred bits. Oh my God. This is silliness. A lot of mods and viewers are getting banned tonight. Winky face. Winky face. I will do the wheel spins. I want to leave it up to chat, actually. Because I think we have a boss battle coming up. So we could do it right after the boss battle, or we could do it right before. What do you guys prefer? I want to leave it up to you. More PS1 startups. Haseo, thank you. <laughs> Yo, lock. Loki TV. Loki TV. That's what it is. I just got... It's Loki TV, not lock. Right? I just figured it out. Dude, after the boss? Before, after, after. Thank you for 15 bits, J-Rock. Wow, you guys are nuts. Thank you. We are at a lot... Of subs <laughs> a lot I actually we do have one of those dankle we use it for a self purge if somebody realizes they posted a spoiler they can do the bean command so we just do bean it'll self purge that way you can purge yourself in case you said something you realize you don't want the, the anyone to read Suddenly, from across the building, I hear a seductive squawk. I frantically look through the stable. Again, squawk, squawk. This time lingering as to call me. I finally reached the last stall. I open it to see a fine, thick, majestic chocobo. These thick, majestic gift subs go choo 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 number 053. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for 777 bits, Sandaski. 
Appreciate it, dude. Much appreciated. Let's do this glide hook. I don't think I've used it yet. Wow, that's a lot of choo-choo. Oh, that was pretty good. I kind of need heals. I need heals. Dun, dun, dun. It was not my diary. I don't have a diary, Rackadactylus. What the hell? You guys finished the hype train. <laughs> yes, Seamus. That's it. That's the self purge. Yeah, some of the hype emotes are pretty good. Can we kill this fish already? We have we have things to do. I'm realizing suddenly that there was three of them. I thought there were more. Oh, it's still not dead. Did did did. You guys, you guys used sequence breaks on the hype train to start at level five. <laughs> oh no, Pops ate the bad jelly beans. You literally did a speed run of a hype train. <laughs> oh my God. I've drinked level five. Always has been. No, don't fight me, fish. I'm done. Dirty shit fish. Shit fish. Shit fish. What did we decide? Do we want to do the spins now? Or do we want to do it after the boss? What do we think? Spins now or, or post boss? I'm pretty sure there's a boss coming up. Almost positive. It might be a dragon. It might be something else. Oh, it's right here. This is definitely catch him. This game has the soundtrack. I like the dumpster fire the best, but that frog is my number two. The dumpster, the frog is my number two. Spins before or after boss. There you go, there's a poll. One minute poll. Poll in chat, top of chat. Please cast your votes. Dumpster fire has a special significance in this channel, similar to what just happened. That's a 716. Oh my god. <laughs> That's close to the all time record. Um, man. Um, I was streaming D&D &D and somebody raided me. And she dropped like a gift sub or so. And then everyone started doing it. And I said that if we had hit a certain amount of subs, I would play Ephemeral Fantasia, which is notoriously one of the worst RPGs ever made. Um,. <laughs> That's not hyperbole either. It's it's true. <laughs> um, so everybody just jumped on that opportunity, and then like 130 subs later, everyone that had helped on the hype train, of all hype trains to get me to play one of the worst RPGs ever, they got the dumpster fire emote. <laughs> Like, of all the emotes everyone got for that, it's like, oh, you're going to play Ephemeral Fantasia? Here's your dumpster fire emote. <laughs> Kill a barrel roll. <sighs> Let's take a look at this poll here. Oh, it's very close. It's very close. It is quite close. Yo, what's up, Zordon? How are you? I'm waiting for those like last minute voters. There's always the last minute ones that are like, oh, we gotta get a tie. All right, it says four votes by four votes, 12 to eight. Thank you for casting your vote. I hope, I hope that you are, um, you enjoy this. 
And I appreciate your patience while we do this. Because we're going to do a lot of wheel spins right after this, this boss. I'm pretty sure this is a boss. Pretty sure this is a boss. <laughs> All right. So they said that we needed a star fragment for this island. We just got one. This is not my first time. I played it in an 03. Uh, 03, 04. So I have like vague recollections of things. Um, however, I'm still kind of approaching it as a blind play. So I'm not really looking up any guides or anything like that. I'll ask questions here and there. Um, but I would ask that people not spoil anything story related. You know, or back seat. But if I have questions, feel free to answer them. So, also remember just the level of quality. Not only that this PS1 can output through pure analog audio, but how good of a job they did in this game. Listen to that. Other than the fly buzzing around. To me, this sounds very realistic. Yeah, the, yeah, Loki, the ambience is really good. It's kind of a short loop, but it still sounds really nice. A little off in the wind? Maybe a little bit, yeah. The thing about the fly buzzing is it's like mostly just the right channel. It's mostly just in the right ear if you're using headphones. So it gives you that kind of like spatial illusion. Look at he's confused. There's all this stuff over there drying. All right, let's turn that down to a reasonable volume. Star fragment. You hear the birds in your left and a little buzz in your right. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, they're a little stronger and the birds are a little stronger in the left. Yep. And that didn't work. It's empty. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be a dragon. I thought it was going to be a, an air dragon. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I never seen this before. Uh. All right. Well, let's take this thing seriously. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> uh, when did this game become Pikmin? Yeah, I know. Uh. Man. He's got like, it's this like see-through plastic uniform. It's so weird. All right, I think he's light elements. So let's do moonshine. This is going to increase our collective magic defense. Twenty-seven. Okay, so he double attacks. All right, Lynx just messes him up. That's cool. Sixteen spins, right? After this guy? Sixteen? Yes, Lickety? My cats are very, very concerned with all the changes. Radiation. Uh oh. Oh. That did like no damage. That did like no damage. Okay. <laughs> I'm good with that. Let's see. What can we do here? Let's try to lower his attack. 
Oh, that's that's not lower. That's not a debuff. Quick draw. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna defend on him. Just to conserve, because he might need to do an AoE heal. I don't know if this thing is gonna. I don't know if this thing is gonna do anything else. You know. I think it's probably better to play it safe. Let's get some uh, element on her. She hits him pretty hard too. Free fall. Drops foe from the sky at supersonic speed. Do it. Do it. Are you ready? Okay. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> That was the most damage we've done in the entire game so far. Color me impressed. Color me impressed. Alien died on their way back to home planet. <laughs> We're doing a lot of damage to him and he's not dying. I have to say that's a little alarming. Who has all our debuffs? I forgot who I equipped those with. What are you doing, kitty? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't put your nose on that. No. Lickety. This is what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> Here we go, chat. <laughs> She is way too damn clever for her own good. She's just way too smart. <laughs> You're a pain in my ass, look at it. <laughs> it's like every night, just bam, cat. Hello. <laughs> She's way too smart. She seriously is. All right, here we go. This is our this is our stream now. <laughs> Uh, cats are just so weird. They really are. All right, let's do this long shot. I don't think we really need to heal, so. Okay, that sucked. Let's not do that again. That was pretty weak. She's looking at you, chat. Defend! Defend! Meteorite. 25? This guy's honestly not very strong. He just has a lot of hit points. Let's just keep wailing on him. Oh. Nice evasion, though. You have a bed for your boy in your desk? Nice. What about you, Dr. Robotnik? Looked at those crits. Ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. What's that thing supposed to be? It's a machine learning bot. <laughs> uh. ba 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 Yeah, she's... she's She's a nice looking cat. Meteor shower. Okay, I was waiting for something like this. This might do some damage to us. Ooh. Yeah, that was pretty good. We're going to heal that. Let's do recover all here. Yo, Tomba, how you doing? Thanks for that follow. Kind stranger. Oh my god. This thing is not dead yet. 
feral cats. Here we go. This is terrifying. <laughs> Damn, I thought he was dead because he fell down. Ba -ba -ba. Starkey's been waiting for that white field and I take it from him? Yes, thankfully. Man. I think Lynx must have all her debuffs. That is not optimal. I should have given him to Mackie. I don't think so, Papa Pondy. I don't think so. It shouldn't be. Recover all. 83. Okay, that wasn't bad. It is? Okay. I don't... It's, it's auto mod. Auto mod is really weird. <laughs> auto mod is confused. Let's just put it that way. Let me, uh, let me, I think there might be something I can do for that. Maybe. If my cat can move. Kitty, I can't see. I can't see. She does not care. Look at how many fucks she gives right there. <laughs> oh, man. Look at how many fucks she gives. Just, yeah. Okay, try it again. Can you say that word now? Dude, she stares right into it. Yeah, I know. It's eerie. It's just eerie. Still can't say it. Okay, what about now? Do, 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 do. All right, looks like I need a heal. Cure her. Still no? Might take a bit for the setting and take effect? I don't know. I got nothing then. It's not banned. <laughs> like, the word itself is a ban. Do, do, do. All right. This thing has an um, infinite hit points. What is the white element effect? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> he finished. He finished the word. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Yes. Apparently white element makes you use more stamina. It makes you use more stamina. All right, I know what it is. It's a block term, actually. Do, do, do. Bubba, oh man, I hate having to look through this shit. Cause I have to see every block term. Okay, it'll work now. It'll work now. It should work now. Yo, Vemmer, how are you? Oops, sorry, I bumped the mic there. I don't know how to get rid of this. The status effect. Yeah, it's making them use more stamina. All right, cool. It wore off. It's 
he's finally starting to die. There you go, Papa Pondy. Looks like it worked. Go ahead. Bye. Our kitty is going off to greener pastures. Radiation. I need to heal again, apparently. Does she ever cover all? I don't think so. Oh, she does. All right. Is that Popo? What is what Popo? It's weird. Sometimes the cursor takes forever to appear. Poo -poo? Wait, what? What's everyone talking about? <laughs> Let me in. I want to know the secrets. What are we talking about? The blue alien appears from Final Fantasy. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Mag negate. Ooh. So the real body of the monster is this small? Whoopee, don't freak me by. Catch him with the X button. Catch him. Get over here. No. <laughs> Starkey shot. Starkey got caught you in. Who are you? Stalking over faraway stars with Starkey ship fall from sky. Star fragment is Starkey ship fragment. Ship turned to fragments after a crash. So that's why you were collecting fragments. Yes. If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Stocky will come with you. Yes! We got a teammate! <laughs> we got an alien! <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Here we go. Here's the raffle. You get a chance to name Starkey. Six characters maximum. Please have a name ready if you are selected. If you do not have a name ready, we will have to skip you. But everybody's got an equal chance, so good luck, everyone. Think of your favorite names to name this alien. <laughs> this is clearly an alien. It couldn't be anything else. You'll draw your bum like your other French girls. Nice. Nice. What are we doing? You are entering a raffle to name this character. All right. And the winner to name the alien is going to be... Tomba Terror. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tomba. What are we going to call this character? Rigged. Sorry. You, it's not going to be called Rigged, Regison. Tomba won, not you. Pikmin. <laughs> All right. Pikmin it is. What about everybody else? What would you have named it? Feel free to share your, your, uh, your selections. Pikmin. All right. We have Pikmin. <laughs> Olimar or Poo Poo are the only viable options. You would have named him Roger, Tater, Popcat, Ripley, oh my god, Alien, Larry, Larry, Ooh La La, Doris, A Lamau, <laughs> hey, Lama. <laughs> uh, let's see, his stats. Aren't half bad at all. Quite high agility. Innate white. Ooh, innate white might be good. A Lamau is pretty good, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're all pretty good, to be honest. You're gonna go with Mork? Oh, Mork and Mindy? That's an old one, yeah. Tree Waifu wouldn't fit. <laughs> 
I wonder if he's good to be honest. Yeah, honestly, I don't I don't really know if he'll be good. Like his stats aren't as good as Mackey here. He's got more hit points, he's got more magic, he's got less accuracy, less magic resist, less strength, less defense, more agility, but he is white element. We'll stick with this for now. Really cool that we ended up getting a teammate out of that. I didn't expect that, to be honest. I thought it was just going to be a dragon. Let's look at his element grid. Five, five, four, three, three, two. It's pretty balanced. Starburst. Calls a Starman Guardian to do special attack mark two. All foes. Call on Starman Guardian to do special attack mark one. Single foe. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if he's good. Like, I've not been too happy with Mackie. He has good stats, but he's been underwhelming. Oh, he has a gun. Attacks 36. That's a strong weapon. If his attack is 36, he's comparable to Harl. He's the same attack as Mackie, though. Hmm, I don't know, then. I'm not sure. Eh, he might not be that good. Is this a mod? No, this is Chrono Cross. This is vanilla. I'm playing on the actual PS1. I'm playing it on the PS1. There's my beat up case from college. It's seen better days, but it did its job. It protected the discs, which are still in mint condition. If you didn't know Chrono Cross, you would think it's a mod too. What would you think it's a mod of? You don't remember Peekman in it. Apparently he's in it. <laughs> I mean, somebody named him Peekman. Let's be fair. But yeah, that character. I didn't. This is unless somebody gave me pressed official PS1 black discs with some sort of ROM hack on it in the year 2003. Then it's vanilla. <laughs> Actually, I think I've had it longer than 2003. I think it was like 01. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Why are you blocking everything? I can't even see chat now. I gotta move my chat window. Ben, Benzo, to your credit, I didn't know this character existed either. I didn't get him my first time around back then. So this is new to me as well. Maybe he's just like a, a harder one to find. You know, that's possible. Yeah, my cat's back, by the way. Don't look at me. Look at the camera. You're going to be front and center. Then you need to entertain the crew here. <laughs> Cats are weird. Cats are weird. I have 16 wheel spins to do now. You got him in your playthrough. He is kind of a secret. Okay. It's been a whole life since you played that. Oh, yeah, same. The last time I played it was 03, 04. So it's been a hot minute, yeah. Lickety, are you going to spin the wheel for us 16 times? What do you think? Yeah, there you go. Have some chin scripties. Oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah, you're a nice lady. You're a nice lady. That feel good? Apparently he was, Tom, but yeah. Well, I already went to this island once, and it said I needed a star fragment. And then, like, I remembered an NPC saying there were star fragments in the triangle. So I investigated and found one. But it doesn't seem like it's anything you have to actually do. All right, I'm going to exit this zone. I know we're on the camera scene, but you're not missing anything, I promise. I'm just leaving the zone. Because if we're going to do this many wheel spins, we're going to need music. We're going to need music. You got a copy of this out of the display case? How much was it? <laughs> okay. 
Where's the Smash 64 commercial where they beat each other? I think we've seen that one, Vixie. Ah, enjoy your coma, Don Spooky. All those wild ideas have led to many memorable series. Yeah. You really had to stand out back then. Because you had word of mouth in gaming magazines. That was the primary marketing. For everything. For every, for every, for all gaming. For all gaming, is what I'm trying to say. Beep, beep, beep. Rentals? Rentals were only good insofar as whether or not the cover looked good. They weren't really marketing, though, because all you had was cover art. And American cover art was frequently bad. Like, there's a shmup called Phalanx. It's like a space shoot 'em up game. You know what the cover is? Some, like, old ass dude wearing nothing but overalls holding a banjo. Nobody fucking rented that game. They didn't know what the hell it was. <laughs> like, what is this shit? Every time I saw that, I'm like, well, this game is weird. <laughs> like, I couldn't understand it. What was I supposed to do with that information? <laughs> there is nothing you can do with that information. Oh my God, there goes the par again. <laughs> And then, like, the old Mega Man games, they didn't use the anime art that the Japanese carts had in the boxes. They drew some, like, dude holding, a, like, a space ray gun with his fingers. Mega Man doesn't do that. <laughs> he looked like a dork. He looked like some 40-year-old insurance salesman wearing a plastic outfit, holding a space gun. It just was stupid. <laughs> The only reason those games got popular is because word spread that they were actually pretty fun. Did you look at the back? Yeah. But when you only get like one or two screenshots of the game on the back of a game cover, back in that day, that was a good way to bite you in the ass. Like they just didn't... They'd only show you what they wanted you to see, you know? You didn't get like a reviewer reviewing the game. You didn't have a friend that owned the game that you could see it, right? If you didn't know what it was, all you had to go on was a cover or some commercials where, like, dudes are beating each other up or their eyeballs are popping out of their heads or they're making fart noises or something. Like, what does that do for me? <laughs> that helped nobody. Yeah, the Breath of Fire cover art in 1 and 2... Yeah, he looks like blue-haired Conan the Barbarian. That's not what Ryu looks like in those games. <laughs> it's just not. We haven't been here yet in this home in this world, so this will be a first. This is swanky music. This was a pirate ship in another world. Now it's a cruise ship. What a departure. Mega Man's bad cover art became loved later. It, I mean, it became so bad it was good, right? Like, it became part of the... It went from this is bad to this is just campy, you know? Like, you had to appreciate it because what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it was an ironic appreciation. Like, people knew this made no sense. It's so bad, you gotta see this kind of thing. What a life. I have nothing to do. Do you envy me? You're a loser. Ha! You're just jealous. He would say that, wouldn't he? Ha! It sucks to be you. Man. Come on, NPC, why won't you talk to me? That's weird. The NPC will not, they must not have any dialogue. Okay, fair enough. Let's go up here. 
Actually, suck to them first. He was divorced in the other world, Neo? I don't remember that NPC. The pirates found a legal way to round people. Oh, yeah, like a cruise ship casino boat. <laughs> There's monsters infested in marble. Interesting. Maybe we'll go there next. You can decide which one is the cruise ship and which is the pirate ship of these two worlds. Touche. There's a cat up here. Oh, this game deserves a little bump. I don't remember if I was doing it this way or not. <clears throat> yeah, I think I was. So that the alerts come through better. <clears throat> yeah, okay, that should work. Futzing with my mixer. All right, so let's go down the stairs. Have I played this one before? It says Shadow Mario. Uh, I played it in 03, 04. That was the last time. Both games great in their own right. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think it's important when we play games to try to judge them on their own merits. Obviously, when they're sequels, you're always going to be like, how does this compare to the last? It's much harder to just view it as a standalone game. But I think it's worth it a lot of the time to do that. You're forbidden to talk to passengers. A man needs to be tough. Be a man, I say. Oh, man. He's making fun of Nikki because of the way he dresses. Boy, that guy ain't cool. What's everyone's favorite character in this game, if you have one? Either based on what you've seen me play, or your own knowledge. Oh boy. The thirst is- Oh, it's Mickey! Ha! Ah, you're a strange threesome, and I thought everyone was here to see Rocky. You don't look like typical Rocky fans. Are you fans? No. You don't have to say that just to please me. Okay. I'm Mickey, the lead dancer for the Magical Dreamers. Okay. Nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get goosebumps from the message we try to convey. This is the character I need to get. You like Starkey, Loki? Mojo? I could never get Mojo to be good. Like, all his stats are low except agility. I don't know how to use him right. Maybe that's it. Raka, you like Poob, aka Kid. Kid. Marcy, because she's so bratty. And Glenn. Glenn's cool. You can't say yet, Leon Hart. That's fair. Mojo's awful. He's just funny, right? Yeah, you have Mojo some JoJo. Okay. Come back! She left. She left. Did we did we fuck it up? <laughs> hey Alex, what's up? I hope we didn't mess up recruiting Mickey. That is information I do need help from chat with. <laughs> I need to know how to recruit her. She's the character I wanted to use. So, as soon as we get her, the old man's going to go warm the bench. You can check? Yeah, if you could. You've tried making sense of this game's story. The game's story is 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 pretty hard to understand, to be honest. I'm not gonna sit here and try to be like, no, this story's easy. We just stupid like, no. It's hard to wrap your head around it. <laughs> if you want to understand the story, you play Chrono Trigger, then you play Radical Dreamers, then you play this. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> the 
The soundtrack is legendary, Alex. Yeah. You get her if you talk to her after the concert. Okay. Clear out Homeworld Marble, then talk to Miki in the restaurant on the Zelbus. Okay. Maybe I wasn't supposed to talk to her yet, then. If I talk to her now, did that ruin it? That's what I'm worried about. I'm pretty sure I have one, Shadow Mario. It doesn't ruin the chances? Okay, great. Great. We will rotate or save just in case. Wow, I have tons of space on memory card one. Excellent. You can't miss her? Okay. Perfect. That's what I want to hear. Concert is the number one thing I need to see in this game. It's one of my all-time favorite cutscenes in a video game. Chrono Trigger Flames of Eternity. What is that? Is that a... Is that like a fan game or what is that? Do, 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 do. I do like a good ROM hack. Ah! <laughs> Speaking of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> God damn it, Safamia. She doesn't want to say your words. Safamia says 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Thank you for ten dollars, Safamia. You smart ass. <laughs> uh, you smart ass. <laughs> uh, did you have a game on the next list you wanted to vote for? Welcome. Enjoying the Snap Family Show. Okay. What kind of show is this? That's a good question. I guess we're gonna watch it. Yo, it's salt and pepper. I'm Lanky Lake. Uh, and I'm Stout. Shake it! And enjoy our show! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What? They're just slapping each other. Shovel Knight? Okay. We gotta add that. Bits and tips. As always. Go towards a curated list of games to be voted on. That's how Chrono Cross got selected. How many characters in this game? It's like 40 something. I think it was like 42 or something like that. But you can't get them all in a single play. You know too much about ROM scenes. It's possible it was complicated because of being on Satellaview. Yeah, maybe. That makes sense. What does that say? Stage performers only. Oh, okay. Three plays to get everyone. Wow. At least we get fed. I don't think it's that bad. Wow. Oh, no. They're being, like, overworked. Do you know what's happening in Marble? Too painful to say? Oh, I shouldn't have told her that. Whoops. I don't think she knew. Boy, I can't wait to get a new monitor for this. New Game Plus has a speed button? No kidding. That I did not know. That's actually really cool. Do, do, do. Let's say Vegas? Vegas Casino? Excuse me? Oh my god, it's a roulette wheel! <laughs> Holy shit! We found our new house. We found our new house. Boy, they're spinning that thing a lot. You want to play for a hundred? Play what? There's 
There's a narrow window to get her the thing as you're reading saying recruiting a different character can't lock her. So... Okay. It's the compass. We're gonna start holding by between S and W. You mean cheesing this? Oh my god. Okay. Let's be careful with tips though. Okay. You double your points again. Sure. This is just practice. You lose 50 points. The pointer stops on south. Do you understand the rules? Yes. Sudden death roll. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to know those strategies. I don't want to learn how to break the game. I'm trying to play this like blind, you know, like casually. I don't like things that make it too easy. It just ruins the fun. Cause I'm not a hundred percent player. I don't need to do everything. Lose 50 points. I can see you could potentially get a lot of money in this though. Rip points. Oh no, you lose points. Okay, cool. I don't really need money. We haven't needed it in a while. We did just spend a bunch on uh, elements though. I've seen people do that similar method, Leon, uh, in Final Fantasy VII slots. There's Fargo. Hey, you're a new face. Relax and stay a while. This ship belongs to me, myself, and I. I want everyone to enjoy themselves courtesy of me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, he just says the same thing. So I think we're done here. Let's go to marble. Really wasn't anything to see here. Stay a while and listen. I want to go on that boat. The magical dreamers. Where's the NPC? Huh, they're not there anymore. Yeah, for Final Fantasy VII, yeah, ribbon, ribbon's good. Unless the slots break your accessory, which they can, yeah, in the battle, battle square, right? Battle square. I liked all the game, mini games of Gold Saucer in that game. I thought they were well done. Shall we go to Marble Chat? Find the source of the problems of the demi humans. I don't recall what's going on there, but I'm looking forward to finding out. The Dead Sea. Just checking. Is that a cove? No. Okay. Chugbo Racing. Oh, yeah. I really enjoyed it myself, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep on this save for now. Until we know we get, uh, Mickey for sure. Joke about 
Rainbow inbreeding. <laughs> How are you, buddy Cthulhu? The coaster shooting game was awful with a PS1 controller. Yeah, it was damn near impossible. <laughs> hey, where'd the music go? I was vibing that. Man. We'll get it back. Don't worry. It's weird that the music stopped in here. It's a little unusual. <clears throat> Usually it only does that if there's something important. Tired but good. Started making out carving lines in a big old wyvern carving. Wood? <laughs> Wood carving? Leather? What kind? <laughs> Assistant to Sir Toma. The Great Explorer Toma. <clears throat> This was what, 99 when this came out, right? <clears throat> 2000. Man. I was saying this in my Discord last night. Check this out. Squaresoft was insane in the 90s. Absolutely insane. Just from the start of 1999 to the end of 2000, and this isn't the exhaustive list. This is just the ones that are notable. They released Air Geese, Final Fantasy VIII, Chocobo Racing, Saga Frontier II, Legend of Mana, Final Fantasy Collection, Final Fantasy Anthology, Threads of Fate, Chrono Cross, Parasite Eve II, Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy IX, and The Bouncer. In two years! <laughs> like, what the hell? That is insane productivity. <laughs> How the hell did they pull that off? And that's not all the games they released in that two-year span. That's just the ones that I was like, I know these games. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Element Hunters came and drove them out of their hometown. Ask about the Dead Sea. What do you know, Toma? Current gen games take so long to develop. Yeah. Square is releasing banger after banger for a while. Yeah, no kidding. Mobile remakes? I mean, they are making new games. But no company can make games that fast anymore. The Bouncer's not good, but it's one of the first PS2 games. That's what I've heard. There's a dragon in the Dead Sea. Dragon God, okay. There's only one way, Death's Door. The entrance is out there somewhere, okay. Ask the sage aboard the cruise ship on the Zelbest. Okay, there we go, we got a lead. We got a lead. I'd like them to do both, Tristan. You know, because if they didn't do high budget games, we never would have gotten DQ11 and the level of quality it was. Like DQ11, especially the definitive edition, is incredibly good. It's my favorite DQ game now. <clears throat> and I didn't think anything would ever beat 8. I just hope that they expand to a point where they can publish more smaller studios you know like Octopath Traveler was a specific group that made that it wasn't Square like Square you know it was like a specific group that they published under their name DQ DQ 11 on the Switch but it's also on PC and PS4 and 
uh, Xbox One now as well, the definitive edition. <clears throat> amazing, it's amazing. Yeah, Tristan, I agree. Yeah, they don't have to. I think I wish they would, you know, but that's why that's the point of making is more games like Octopath, you know, like more games like that. They they should budget for. It. There's obviously a market for it still. Um, and, and you know, they, at least they're doing it right with DQ games. Look at the DQ spinoffs, you know, like Dragon Quest Builders 1 and 2 were very successful, especially 2. Um, and just after that DQ, um, live stream that we watched together in Discord on Wednesday, they're doing a lot of spinoffs that aren't those huge budget games, you know? They're doing that DQ Treasures game, they're doing a a remake of DQ3 just like Octopath is um, which was extremely exciting for me The Black Nightmare a song would wake them up Interesting. You can hear a woman crying at night. People think it's a ghost. We're going to explore here, and then we're going to try to stay the night and see if we can encounter the ghost. That's my, that's my hypothesis right now. This is great. This is a great track. It's kind of uplifting for what is ultimately a ghost town. <clears throat> Octopath isn't really your jam, but it's music and gameplay is the level scenes you want to see more of. Yeah. There's definitely room for that kind of game. And they still do make them. They just don't... Let's be fair. The, the level of productivity they had in the 90s was unreasonable. <laughs> it was completely unreasonable. Hmm, what's this? Not sure. You've been meaning to play DQ series? Loki, uh, do you prefer retro or more modern RPGs? Because <clears throat> I, can, I can give you a uh, recommendation of what to start with to see if you'd enjoy the series or not. <clears throat> Let's try to stay the night. Can't imagine what field in the crank so many. I, yeah, I, I would love to know. You hear voices outside. There it is. You lean closer to modern than retro. DQ8. DQ8 on PS2. Or if you can manage it, DQ7 Remake on the 3DS. It's really good. If you're more towards modern, I'd say DQ8. That's one of the best examples of the franchise. Make sure it's the North American version because the whole soundtrack is fully orchestrated. Is that a mermaid? There's a mermaid there. <clears throat> A mermaid, homecoming maybe. Oh, you say she was crying. A mermaid returns in the middle of the night crying. Actually, it could possibly be that mermaid who lost her singing voice. Mermaids are known to have a beautiful voice and sing about love and happiness. But mermaids are forbidden to sing songs about holding grudges against humans. That's a very obscure restriction. If a mermaid breaks the taboo, she will lose her singing voice. I don't blame her though for all that's been happening in this day and age. You're heading to the Zelbus tomorrow, right? You should get some sleep. Don't forget to give your regards to Captain Fargo. Okay, so we're going back to the Zelbus. Works for me. Works for me. Yeah, I want to see Project Triangle strategy. Yeah. There's confirmation there will be an Octopath sequel as well. Interesting. Interesting. 
you play more games that look like ff6 yeah i think there's a market for that too i don't know how big it is though Will you be oh the mermaid's talking will you be boarding the zelbus take me with you she has umlauts after every oh <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce her words irenis what's that what's that apparently she's not actually joining us Uh, did I screw that up? Did I screw that up? She probably doesn't join yet. I know she joins you, though. She looks familiar. She has a name and a portrait, right? <laughs> she has a name and a portrait. She's going to join us at some point. Let's just go to the, the boat. Let's just go to the boat. <clears throat> What's up, Delph? How are you? Dun, 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 dun. All right, we already talked to everybody, so let's just hit the key players. Fargo himself, right? You know what this music kind of would be really good for? Like, let's say this was in a different RPG. This would be good shopping music. Like, you're buying swords and potions. This is shopping music. <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit. Not not in, in tone or sound, but... It reminds me a little bit of uh, Earthbound, how it had its own specific shopping music. What's up, Gara? You don't think Chrono Trigger is overrated? You think it deserves all the love it gets? You don't think it'll ever get over experiencing that trial the first time? Oh, yeah. That trial is super cool. Come on. There we go. Legend of Dragoon. I gotta play that again, Mighty Man. I never beat that, you know? Like, I, I rented it as a kid. I think. Rented it a few times as a kid. Got to like this too. Never beat it. <gasps> She's here. It's been quite some time, Aridis. You've grown up. Argo, you have not changed at all. You're still here drowning in memories of the past. What do you know? I lost everything when I lost Zelbus. You're on Zelbus. Is she supposed to be like German accent? Where's, oh, where's Pagan Red Cat? <laughs> Where's my German mod? <laughs> I should just have her get in voice chat and, and say all Irenis' lines. <laughs> this looks German to me. Is that right? <laughs> like German English, right? Ger German English? Is that a word? I, I don't know. Ermin? Let's call it Ermin. There you go. Umlauts mean German? I mean, she says da ist. Or something like that, roughly? Okay, it's sort of German. It needs a German accent. I don't know how to do a German accent, though. I can't I can't do a German accent. Do -do 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 -do. I can just do facsimiles of other accents. That is untrue. My sister left hope. I treasure that man one day. Bring him and some damn humans together. That's what she sounds like. Beautiful singing voice. Wait, she's supposed to have a beautiful singing voice? We always do this voice for those. We did this for Celeste uh, in Final Fantasy VI. You know, she's an opera singer. So Celeste sounded like this. Yeah, her sister, Mossy. <laughs> the child died with Zelvis with Luca. You do not know anything, do you? She's got to sound like, like a Northeastern... You know, like 50-year-old woman who smokes two packs a day. Beautiful singer. Yeah, it's good. Dee, 
Girl Squad. <laughs> Or you refuse to know. You only remember the past, which is favorable for you. There we go. That's it. Perfect, right? So and so. Luca tried to save my sister Zelbus. She was only able to save the baby Mossy. Luca, huh? Luca from F Toronto Trigger. Luca felt responsible and supported Mossy from a distance throughout her life. Who's Marcy? Luca, huh? Look at you now. Where is the old you who had the passion and desire to build a new world with my sister? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time they've name dropped her. It isn't. There's connections. There's connections in this game. If you watch her play through this, you'll see them. Why did they let her sound German? I don't know. Marcy's the diva you fought in the line. Oh, you're right. I told you the old me is dead. Now, what do you want? I don't need to be lectured by you. Understood. Let me get to the point. You've taken away the song of the dead, my humans. In other words, we would like you to free the sage. I see, but why? You know that song too, don't you? Do not feign ignorance, Fargo. You should know better. Only when the song is sung by one with special power can the effects be brought into full play. Okay. I should have written it all in caps because German is ah, great. Yeah, I remember Marcy now, yeah. Which is supposedly Nikki's sister. Wickedy, don't step on my mixer. What? What do you want? Now you're stepping on the mouse. You're being a disruption, kitten. My sister Zelbest is dead, and you have taken away the sage. Marble no longer has its true power without that song. Doot, doot. Marble is now a nesting ground for evil, evil dream spirits. Interesting. But so what? I don't want outsiders in marble. It suits me just fine. How much longer are you going to be stubborn? The marble you once knew is no longer there. You only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. Cat is being cat? Yeah. I'm not releasing the sage, no matter what you say. Fine, I will not beseech you. Beseech you? I will not give up on the restoration of marble. I will continue to strive to make my sister's dream come true. Bye. Fargo, you're a dick. In this world. You're a dick. Hi, Greeny. How are you? Dun, 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 dun. Could do an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Well, hey, that's Austrian, though, right? What am I supposed to do? Settle screen movement on the boar. On the boat. I don't see it. Is it in this room? Where? <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Uh. Oh yeah, it's like one pixel movement. I see it now, okay. It's very subtle. Yeah, it's there. It's just like one pixel left and right sometimes. I will make her dream come true. Yeah, I can't do that accent. Sorry. Okay, I tried. Alright, now what? I don't know what I do. Let's look around. Anonymous, thank you for that gift sub. Thank you so much. A community and indiscriminate showing of affection. A community gift sub. Mm. 
In your ear, more American than Austrian? Trust me, he sounds super Austrian to the American ear still. Like, it's very thick. <laughs> very thick. Uh. Well, whoever got that gift sub, you enjoy those cutest finny bears on Twitch and the ad-free experience for the next 30 days. What kind of show is this? It's salt and pepper. Snap. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snap's fantastic magic show. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to volunteer for this next trick? No. How about you, young lady? No, me? Well, it does seem like fun, but... You're not gonna slice me in two or stick knives into me, are you? Nothing to worry about, young lady. You are good hands with snuff. This guy looks sketchy. Is he still in government? No. Uh-uh. Nope. He's just living his best life with his... He has, like, pet goats or llamas or something. It's really weird. I just remember during the pandemic, he put out this video of him sitting in his kitchen trying to cheer everyone up, which worked. He's really good at that. But he was feeding his, like, pet goats or something at the same time. It was really weird. <laughs> That's why people watch. They're like, yo, check this out. Arnold's being Arnie. Being a happy goofball as usual. And he's feeding goats or something in his kitchen. It was so weird. <laughs> I don't remember what they were. It was just very unusual to see them in a house kitchen. Please dump that to the stage. Here goes nothing. All right. Now, what is your game? Jill? Well, let's start off with something simple. Jill, are you going- you are going to walk on air. You're feeling lighter, Jill. Very light. One. Two. Three. And now for the main event. Jill, you will now become a chair. You'll be able to withstand any weight. One, two, three. See, no strings. <laughs> Did you even be able to support a facile like him? Hey, now. No fat shame. Okay, it's about time we brought Jill back. One. Two, three. So, how was it, Jill? Uh, I felt like I had no control over my body, but it didn't hurt one bit. It was very strange. It was strange. Sapara says, Finn's bro and plane. Yes, thank you. Good. Everybody got that? It made perfect sense, didn't it? Uh, it was a miniature horse and a donkey. Yes, that's what it was, Gar. <laughs> Yeah, he had a horse and a donkey in his kitchen. It's so weird. Thank you very much for your assistance. You're a phony, a great big phony. You and her probably had all this planned out. You don't believe in magic? Looks like I have something to prove to you. Step up to the stage. Yeah, go ahead, do what you want. I know there's a trick. You're a real life wire. What's your name? It's Jack. Seeing as how restless and irritated you are, here's one of my favorite tricks. I will turn you into a cat. I call it Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. <sighs> right? <laughs> one. Two. Free. So what do you think? Don't be afraid. I'll change you back to normal. One. 
Tu. Fui. Do you believe me now, Jack? Dots. Jack. Jack? Jack doesn't know. He just doesn't know. Wickedy, what are you doing? She's vigorously sniffing the desk. You got the email that Walmart shipped your PS5. Nice! Thank you very much for your assistance. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. You like that emote, Tristan? <laughs> oh yeah, Jack and Jill. I didn't even catch that, Leon Hart. That's about it for today. Until next time. I hope he's not the sage. Can I go up there? No. No? Okay, I guess this wasn't where I needed to go. I mean, we brought the mermaid here, but... It didn't really help, did it? Excuse me, but I need to get to work. Please let me through. That's the sage. Ask about the marble sage. We're looking for the sage of marble. Do you know anything? Mm, I don't believe he's here. Try elsewhere. Now, please, I have to get to work. He looks super sagey, didn't he? Do you know what's happening in Marble? It's as beautiful as ever. Do you know how the ship got its name? No. There's a beautiful love that flourished in Marble. A love between a human and a mermaid. The mermaid's name was Zelbas. Irenus' sister. Oh, that's what Zelbas means. Yo, Roasted, thanks again for the... The... The, the sub gifts. The support and for hanging out. I saw this in my buddy Smoke Loke channel today, so I want to do something similar. But quick shout out to the backbone on Twitch. We all know who that is. That's the lurkers. So all you lurkers out there, I appreciate you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting this place and other places on the platform. I appreciate it very much. Fargo. Fargo was the love with the mermaid. Big Z getting his lurk. Lurker love, man. Lurker love. That's why we got the lurker panel. Lurker love panel. I have to mop the floors. Let me through. All right, don't go slack off. Let me in. Oh, man used to be the leader of Marble, but now he's down in the dumps mopping the floors of the Zelbus. This door is the Grand Slam, a world where the weak are victims of the strong. Power is justice, just what the captain preaches. I gotta get the captain's permission. Let's do it. It's not that way. It's upstairs. There you go, channel. Nice. I like, I like the speed lines. Do you guys like our new uh, BTTV emote? I'm getting more of these commissioned, by the way. I have five more being made because it, it turned out so well. Check this out. Monk of Steer has always been popular. So I was like, yo, can you do do our own version of that? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> So yeah, I asked him to do five more because he did such a good job. Literally five more. Pop cap, people shy, people clap, kitty go go, and blankies. I want our own versions of those. <laughs> uh, too many finny drivers. We like to get through to the Grand Slam. Oh, the Grand Slam, eh? So you're out for blood. Where did you folks come from? Marble. What? Marble? What are you doing here anyway? We're looking for the Sage of Marble. 
Well, well, well. I'm sorry, but there's no one of that sort aboard the Zabless. Plus, I don't want any strangers rooting fun of my ship. I can't grant you access. Oh, my God. Poor Neo, just seeing all these finny bears and drivers on the road. It's too much for him. But that wouldn't be fun now, would it? The foundation of this Elvis is entertainment. What do you say to try your luck? Try our luck? Yeah. That's right. There's a casino down below. If you win, I'll give you access. Oh, we have to do the casino. Let's do it. Casino time. Yeah, when the, the speed lines are going in, it does look like he's being yelled at. <laughs> uh, it was loaded dice ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're good. Give it up, old man, Sniff. You don't have what it takes. Just keep your, doing your shows, that's all. Enough. One of these days, I'm gonna slap your dirty face with the wall of cash and get the hell off of this ship. Indentured servitude all over this ship. This is, this is sketch. It's the backseaters doing the yelling? Yeah, pretty much. Well, 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 look who's here. The old man has built up quite a debt from this casino, so now I own him. I suggest you don't let the same happen to you. All right, here we go. He's going to clear their debts just to, so they would leave. Wow. Captain is G-O-O-D. Better watch it. Uh, okay. Neff left a minute too soon. Let's begin. Usual, Captain? Yeah, sudden death. Rules are simple. Press X and have a button after the dealer spins. We'll alternate turns. Don't make the pointer stop south. It's a game of luck rather than skill. All right. I'm going to try to do this legit. I don't know if this is stacked or not. Looks like it. <laughs> you got ways to go before you can beat me. Hey, where are you going? We're not done here. Looks like you owe me your boat. Don't hold a grudge. I won that game fair and square. I guess that means you have to swim back. Fucking rigged. If any of your time there's ever been a legit reason to say rigged in a Twitch chat, it was right there. <laughs> Uh, that shit was rigged to hell. Yes. Let's do it. What are the stakes this time? I don't have a boat anymore. 50-50? Maybe. Maybe. I still feel like it's rigged, but I want to try it again. Ba -da -ba. Mm -mm. You got east, okay. Anything but south, right? Rigged. It's fucking rigged. It's always south. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go talk to some other people. 
This is clearly, clearly a setup. Clearly a setup. Zordon, what are you doing? Zordon, stop it. <laughs> you can't even do it when you're not being blocked. Come on now. The fix is in. Let's see if we can find the sage again. Dun, dun. Bum, bum. I am a little confused here. Oh, Sagey Poo! Captain's permission. Nope, they're the same. They're the same. It is rigged, I'm telling you. Oh boy, we're watching another show. Oh, it's salt and pepper this time. All they do is slap each other. It's terrible. It's awful. Dude, I could use breakfast right now. Breakfast at like 2 a.m. is freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, maybe there's something we have to do on the upper decks. Let's see if there's any additional NPCs roaming around. Looks to be the same. Can I talk to this guy? Yeah. What happens if we try to leave with our boat? That he won. Oh, there was the guy. The sage. Did you see him? This boat doesn't belong to you anymore. Why don't you swim home? Damn. Look, the sage is up there. I don't get over there. Hmm. This is mighty confusing. We're like underrated by SE. What do you mean? Bop, bop. We're stuck on the boat. Do we have to win this wheel spin? It feels like it's not winnable. Dun, 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 dun. Do we just keep trying it? You have to find a way to win. Okay. Let's search his room for like some sort of key item or something. No, it's not working. Okay. Let's go to the casino without him. Throat punch will win it. I mean, we beat him up once before. What's stopping us from doing it again? <laughs> uh, why can't we just do that? He's never lost the game. Captain's never lost the game. Can't imagine the captain pulling a scam, but it makes you wonder with his winning record. Yeah, it does. No, I don't want to play. Whatever where Sneff is. What a name. Poor guy's name Sneff. It's like he didn't even know his real name and when when someone asked him what it was, he sneezed. And they're like, "Okay, Sneff." Got it. 
Short for Sneffington? Is that real? Is that a real name? I could go with that strife. Sneffington. This is the show, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me in. I'm a performer. Do I have a key item I can use? Doesn't look like it. I'm Snarf. Snarf's cousin. Snarf. So like a no marble is good. I know how the ship got its name. All right, this was a dead end. Just challenge him again, I guess. This is, might be one of those things like you keep doing it and then finally one of the NPCs is like, you suck, stop cheating or something like that, you know? Maybe we'll try that. It didn't seem like there's any consequences to losing after already losing your boat, which is a little weird if you think about it. Forget it. What if I say no? He just says that's smart. All right, let's do it again. All right, so we left, right? Now we search his room. Now that he's not in the room, is there like anything special in the room? If this doesn't work a third time, I may ask for a hint, but for now, let's try this hypothesis. Let's try this theory. Also, I wish I could keep Harl the whole game. She's cool. She's mega cool. Looks like it's the same. Dude never loses. Oh, I got north. Look at the devil. Here we go. Yo, Mora, thank you. It goes too fast. <laughs> it goes too fast. Damn it. Stop winning. We at least lasted longer this time, right? He never loses. We're still alive. I want to try to like kick the board and make him lose. Damn it. He still didn't lose. <laughs> All right, we're still alive. It's taking a while. Damn it. <laughs> the house never loses. I know. Make him lose finally. Fuck. I don't feel good about this one. Yeah, you got me. Damn. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that was three times. Something's up here. Hit the bar or take a rest. Okay, maybe that's a hint. 
Although I don't know where the bar is. I haven't actually seen a bar, but well, let's rest and see what happens. A strong magnet. I wish that was the answer. That'd be pretty funny if it was. Oh, here we go. Huh. Don't go up there. Meow. Interesting. Right above the shin is the casino where we played Fargo. Something's fishy. If we can move around freely like that cat. Like that cat. Sniff? Huh. We got a clue. We got a clue. Now I think we need to find Sneff. Yo, Sneff, come with us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sneff's fantastic magic show. How about we start off with my cat on the hot tin roof today? Do I have a volunteer from the audience? Me. Me. You folks must be new around here. Would you like to volunteer? Yes. Excellent. Please step up to the stage. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. <laughs> We're cats now. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> uh, look, we're kitties. This is great. It's kitty go go time. <laughs> meow. He always yells at me when I try to go up there, meow. Sometimes the master doesn't come down for a long time, meow. I don't know what's going up there, meow. Let's find out. Pops at it again. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fucking slick. No, why me? This happens every time I start winning big. Haha, <laughs> too bad, old man. You have to learn when to quit. No. I wanted to buy some cat food for those folks. Cat food? For whom? Enough! None of your beeswax! Uh, ouch! My, my back! Look, we're kitty cats! We're so cute! Oh my god, this is the greatest! I stole the handle. <gasps> we can win now. <laughs> uh. Yo, Chad, we can win now. We got this. We got this. But I want to stay as a cat. What if there are other secret areas that we can enter Meow. while being kitty cats? That'd be actually pretty sick. Do, do. Stage performers down there. I'm a cat. We don't have these artificial restrictions. I wish I were a cat and then I wouldn't have to work. It's true. It's true. Cats don't have to work. They just stand in front of our camera and stare at it for hours until they get what they want. There's some kind of trick behind changing me back. I 
Aha! Look what I found. Look what I found. Is there anything else I can find? Yes or no, if anyone knows. Before I change back. I feel like I change back right now. Is there anything I can find as cats right now? Ugh. Big stretch. There is a strife. Yes, yeah, so I should go back. All right. All right, let's look around then. Thank you for saying yes only and not actually telling me what it is. That's exactly what I want. I wanted a yes or no answer and that's what you gave me. I appreciate that. Oh, look. We got a little little cove here, a little, little cubby hole. Hello. Frying pan AG47. <laughs> I found a frying pan. <laughs> How the hell is this a frying pan? The cat gave you monster mouth frame. That's gross. We've been using the stock one for a long time because I think it looks the best, but we haven't looked in a very long time. So let's let's have a look. I have Arnie and Wood. And the simple line. Shellfish. Ugh. Oh, that one's bad. <laughs> Skull Duggery. The Iron Plate. Monster Mouth. Infrared Vision. This looks like an Atcha sketch. T for three. That's not bad. That one's not bad. Goldovian Stitch. That's okay. I still like this one the best. The wood one. It just feels like it fits the vibe of the game the best. It would either be that one or the T one. Those to me fit the best. Do you like the skull one? I don't really like that one. It didn't work for me. Simple line's good too, yeah. I'm seeing things, sorry. Hello, I'm a cat. Please pay attention to me. Walk across that rope into Rocky's room. Go on. <laughs> tell me more. Uh, tell me more. <gasps> oh, what do we have here? Look at that. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. We found a secret. Or we were meant to do that. Not sure which. Your makeup's not up to par today. Dun, 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 dun. Can't you see I'm busy now? I'm a cat. No, I can't see that. I'm a cat. All I know as a cat is you pay attention to me yesterday. End of discussion. <laughs> That's the whole discussion. Ooh, she's in here. 
The Song of the Demi-Humans. I've heard rumors about it, but does it really exist? That song that could save Mabu, right? Yeah. Wait, no, she's like, yeah. The only one who may know about the true powers of this song may be the sage. However, Fargo, knowing so, will not return the song, or rather the sage. Wouldn't it make sense if the sage just sang the song? The sage is no longer physically able to sing. He's much too old for this, and all the labor he has endured. Only you can sing this song. <laughs> Yo, Red Bing, how you doing? Rock and fucking roll, baby. Will I be able to perform such an important song? Song? How do you say song in not in terrible, god awful English accent? Yeah, of course, for you are. Oh, it's nothing. In any case, there's nothing to worry about. Will you do it? Doing well, Red Bank. Good to see you. How was the day? Hope you're having a good weekend. You seem to feel really strongly about this. Plus, I want to know more about the song. All right. Sure. Sing the song. The sage can be found outside a place called the Grand Slam. some reason, the more I look at you, the more nostalgic I feel. Have we met somewhere before? Yeah, yeah, perhaps we have. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how to do his his accent. But he has the look of like a freaking English glam rock. You know, like he's like a David Bowie type kind of. A little bit, maybe. With like a, a really just glam rock accent. What am I doing here? You know, you smell like fish, so... Are you without a family? Then you're just like me. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's such a sad line. That's all he had to say. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> spinal tap. Yeah, something like that. Rock hen. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Walk it, fucking roll, baby. We gotta find that sage. Oh, this guy's here again. Oh, I think that's the bartender. Okay. All right. I think at this point we need to change back. I think. Oh, that's the kitchen. I want to be in the kitchen. We gotta go downstairs. We want to change back. Where's that hole? Oh, I think it was in here. You, change me back. Oh, I'd be worried sick. I had to lie down a bit because I strained my back running. Finally, I'm able to stand up. I'm not 100% better yet, but I think I can change you back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Steph's fantastic magic show. Uh, I have to start off like that to concentrate. Anyway, here we go. One. Two. Three. Yay. Yo, Black Richie Rich, how you doing? Ooh, that's a load off my shoulders. I better stop using that magic. Listen, I'm very sorry you had to put up with being a cat. 
If there's anything I could do to make it up to you, I would like to help, but... Due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm forced to stay on this ship. Please do come by again if you're ever around. The least I could do is offer you a cup of tea. Alright. Cool. Those guys are sleeping, standing up. What in the world? I have the handle now. Let's go win a bet. Let's go win a bet. Finny Bears, Chat, Insomniacs. Community of many names and monikers. Let's go win a bet. Turn us into cat people? Oh no, Vixie. This would be bad. This would be bad bands. Time to scam the scammer. You're right. He's so confident in his cheating method <laughs> that he's gonna get he's gonna get his butt kicked. I can't allow you to go to the Grand Slime. But why? I really need to talk to the sage about teaching me the song. Or else that beautiful island marble will be gone forever. I don't know how to do his accent. Boom, bam, bam. I just can't stand here and do nothing. You don't understand. True beauty is found within a dying entity. What the fuck, Fargo? Dude, who hurt you? I will watch over marble when its time comes. Furthermore, you and I have a contract. For the time being, you are in my possession. What am I supposed to do should anything happen to you? would be a great financial loss for me. Boom, bam, 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 bam. Yo, is that a slot machine emote? Cool. Cool. I like casinos. <laughs> I like them. Exclamations. That, that, that dressing table looks exactly like my mother's. As even that scratch I made when I was a child. Wait a minute. Yes? Could it be that you are my father? The gentle and caring father I used to know? You're my father, aren't you? But why are you participating in such dubious acts? I am no longer the father you once knew. Wow. What the fuck? We are getting all of... <laughs> it's just like... What is with this boat? This entire boat is like an episode of Jerry Springer. <laughs> What the hell? I lost everything when your mother, Zelbus, passed away, including myself. Laugh at me all you want. Pity me if you wish. But remember this, Rocky. Man is not as strong as you think. Should we, should we voice him like Rocky from the movie? Should we do that? We should do that. At least it'll fit the name. It's better than whatever the hell it is I was trying to do before... Challenge you again. Ba -da -ba. Da -da -da. So much sad lore. Don't worry, Vixie. Stick around. We're going to make it better. I promise. I promise. We're going to make it better. Do, do, do. The music on the boat is so happy, but everyone's so depressed. <laughs> that reminds me of a lot of the cruise ship employees I met twice. <laughs> I've been on two cruises, but it was a very long time ago. Like early 2000s. What? Impossible! Interesting little item you got there. So I guess you found me out. I lose. <laughs> Promise they'll give you access to the Grand Slam. Of course, you'll get your boat back as well. Hell yeah. How'd you get a hold of that handle? That's mine now. Don't you worry about it. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 
No, that's... I gotta go downstairs for the Grand Slam, right? Wait, where's Sneff? In here? Maybe now I can win. No. This is the restaurant. I wonder if we can go talk to Sneff and be like, you expected more of a fight? I did too, to be honest. Talk to Snap and be like, yo, um, you're free. All right, apparently he's not released from his indentured servitude. Not just yet. He might not make it out alive. I think we'll be fine. We have Harl. She's beast mode. Ooh. Check out the music. Suddenly cool music. Hey, come back. Come back. <laughs> Where are you going? We have words. Cut him off. No. <laughs> you suck. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this soundtrack and this is amazing. Yes, what is it? Why are you following me? As you can see, I'm quite busy. I do not have time for a game of tag. Where's the Dead Sea? The Dead Sea? Why do you wish to enter the Dead Sea? Do you realize humans have stolen our land along with our legendary treasure? Humans will do anything for profit, no matter what the cost. The demi-humans aboard this ship are living proof. We have lost all sense of pride with no dreams for tomorrow. Well, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. We just cling to the mercy of humans every day. Man. Why must we demi-humans lend a hand to humans? What will you do if I refuse? Will you go as far as using brute force? Let's talk it over. The most common song in this game, the battle track is probably the weakest song, yeah. You wish to avoid conflict. You also need the courage to defeat others to get through life. Do not forget. Good night. Where's the dead saint? All right. Prepare yourselves. Yeah, let's go. The boss music in this game is really good. Let's go, Sage. I didn't want to fight this guy. It feels wrong. <laughs> this feels wrong. I wish there was another choice. Ah, oh, she missed the last attack. Ooh, he hits pretty hard. We should debuff him. There you go, lower his attack power. Look at all those debuffs he's got. I should put these on someone else so he can just go nuts with his attacks. Perfect, perfect. Exactly what I wanted, lower his attack power. Do you have any of those? Uh, you have increased hit percentage. We'll just we'll just load up on element power for him. Moonbeams, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, 148. Not bad. 
Whoa, double attacks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ouchies. Okay. Okay, then. Well, Lynx just got wrecked. Oh man, that was a heal plus two. Mackie sucks. <laughs> He's not working out. Uh. Yeah, there we go. We definitely reduced his attack power. I don't have any way of curing his, um, his freeze status. I should start equipping more of those status cure items. Uh, let's turn him yellow. Mm. It can miss. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, today I learned. Today I learned. Lower his defense. Wait, no. Lower his... I don't have it. Oh, imbecile. There it is. Lower his magic power. Nice. Okay, great. Great. Um, I think we're going to use Moonshine for the protection. Because he's still pretty tough. Belvin says, why use status cure when you can add a couple more bushwhackers? Very funny, Belvin. Yeah, we need stamina. Turn yellow on the green guy. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work out so well for him. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Uh, go ahead and cure Mackie. Um, let's just get hits on him. We're not really doing a lot of damage yet. All right, cool. Turn yellow mist. That sucks. I'm going to conserve his elements for heals. You just attack him. Damn it. I hate when he interrupts. Because then you lose your, your built up accuracy. There we go. Glide hook. Nice. 163. That was sick. That was really good damage. She is strong. You did turn black and the guy was already black. So he's double black? Is that what that means? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> I think it does. Um, he's double black, yeah. Let's boost his accuracy. Hellbound. I don't remember if that does damage or not. Does anyone know? She's better off just attacking, but she doesn't have any stamina, so defend. Oh, defend. There you go. All right, here we go. 99. Yes, look at that. That was great. That was 200 some damage. 
All right, you two. Attack. Go for the big hits. Got the big hits. Once again. Oh, we're messing him up now. Here we go. What's this? Whee! Bonk. <laughs> 211. Yes, we did it. We beat up an old man with a mop. <laughs> Wow, he was so strong. That old man, he was like waving that mop at her face. It was really scary. But we took care of it. She got more strength and magic. She is so freaking OP. She's so good. He got two hit points and one magic resist. Woo. <laughs> uh, Mackie's wasn't too much better there. Now I got a free mithril helmet. Hmm. I sense that you are quite serious about entering the Dead Sea. Could it be you are carrying the burden of fate for the human race? No, for all life forms? Uh, yeah. That's it. You beat up an old man with a mop. Yes, exactly, Afro Thunder. <laughs> How's it going, man? How you doing tonight? Doot, 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 doot. I want to remind all of you that tonight you helped us set a new milestone. Um, It's ridiculous i just want you all to know this but this right here the 734 is the all-time record i don't know what to say except i'm grateful always eternally thank you so much it means a lot it's been uh, a lot of fun hanging out with all of you it really has been and i'm glad you appreciate your time here as well it's it's really cool like i just i see that number it's an unreal number to me every time i see things like that but i you know, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to make good use of it. You folks know that whenever I get an increased budget, you know, coming my way, I buy more retro games that we can play. And I've been buying a lot of quick retro games that we can stream, you know, once or twice, knock them out real quick. So I might be looking into some more tonight. All right. He's going to give me his mop. Let me give you this. I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use. But just remember, opening a new gate also brings forth a new misfortune. <laughs> Do not forget. Fiddler Crab. Okay, that's almost a mop. You like even numbers. Calisize, thank you for six gift subs. <laughs> what the hell? There's an area near the Dead Sea where the tides are different. Use that item there. Nature will take over from there. That is another wheel spin, right? Am I right? Am I right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Yes. Yes, I am right. Uh, finally. All right, we got to make him sound like a terrible Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I do have fun here. You know that legendary song of Bible, right? Why don't you teach me the song, please? Why do humans have to be so selfish? I just want to rest my feet for two minutes and not get attacked. That song only has a place in the hearts of demi-humans. Why should I teach you the song? Because apparently he's half demi-human. We just learned. Oh! Yo, Anonymous, thank you for the two gift subs. Thank you so much. Wait a minute. If his mom was Zelpas related to Irenus, that means that he's half demi-human. You're not supposed to play it twice. <laughs> you silly alert. You're only supposed to play it once. Uh, Irenus asked me. Uh, I see she has not given up. It's not only because she asked me to. I personally have a great interest in that song. A beautiful song. Originated from a beautiful island. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to pull it off, but if it means I can save someone through my song. There was once a man just like you. Dot's exclamation point. Who? Fargo. My father? 
Ah, so you are his son. I guess history does repeat itself. Thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are, for being so kind to me and this community and giving the gift of cute finny bears and ad free viewing for a whole month. I had high hopes for that man. I hopes he would one day tear down the wall between demi humans and humans. But look at us now, the walls seem even higher. Please don't don't speak badly of my father. No one understands the pain and suffering he's going through. That's yeah, he said that Gar, exactly. Yeah. Dots exclamation point. Even though he's built up this lively place, he screams in sorrow alone with his dark, deep self. Doot doot. But I can hear him. He screams in despair, which no one else could hear and wants to hear. I'm never gonna quit my day job to be an actor, by the way. <laughs> so you can hear him too. Jim Panzi, what's up? I beg of you, please. I bet if my father hears that song. I'm sorry, but I have other areas of the ship I must mop. What? While I hum myself a song. Wink, winky face. Uh, then you'll... Dots, exclamation point, question? I saw the way you fought back there. I've been looking for tough guys like you. It'd be an honor if we could talk inside my ship. Oh, I think one of the best parts of the game is going to be happening tonight. I'm very excited. You killed all your collections and clips that were at risk. Yeah, that takes a long time to do. Lilo and Stitch was a Disney cartoon. Uh, okay. I didn't go down here yet. I want to go down here. There we go. What the heck did I stumble on? Two. Is a fighting ring? Stitch is the Disney version of Nibbler from Futurama. I see. Thank you, uh, Sammy, for the um, for the for the host. Cam filter. Let me show you this one. This one people tend to like. You want to see something cool? You want to see something really cool? Check this out. Kind of cool, right? It's a bit of an, a vibe right here. An aesthetic. I kind of like it. Hoping to all heck you don't get a gift sub. Why don't... I'm confused. Don't you usually resub? The Borderlands filter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It's pretty much the Borderlands filter. Yeah. I used a combination of several different filters to create this one. It was not easy to pull off. Yum, yum. You want to resub when I'm my off? Eye down my throat, it will float number 053. Stanaski, what the hell does that mean? Also, thank you for 26 bits. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> uh... But it, why is the apple pie in your eye? And why is it floating? That's that's where I'm really confused. What kind of apple pie are you having? Is it infused with helium? Did somebody throw it at you? I'm, I'm worried about you. <laughs> All right, I don't think we can actually do anything here. As cool as it is, there doesn't appear to be... Yeah, okay. All right, nothing here yet. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, I see what you're saying with Cyril. I understand. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're experimenting with that now, Tomba. So I hope you uh, understand. <laughs> there was a momentary delay. <laughs> Loki has returned. Ragnarok has come.
Oh. That just takes me out. But I was enjoying this music. I was enjoying this music. I think I an Afro you could talk to. Yeah, he's in chat right now. Afro Thunder. Or Thundar, if you want to call him that. <laughs> Zagging out right now. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to participate. See? There he is. How can he help? He's got you. He's got you. You ran out while you couldn't talk, so you were monk. <laughs> Janice. Oh, I think you can get her on your team. Oh, this is Pokemon. Okay. Oh, that thing looks mean. Cat burglar looks pretty mean. I guess I'm choosing my... My, my group? Beach Bum is crap. We don't want him. He's butts. He's buttholes, even. Like, literally, like, holes full of butts. All right, let's try this. Sure. Boom. They're making a sequel to Ragnarok? Like the Marvel movies? Wait, I actually fight as the monsters. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know what element this thing is. <laughs> How do I look? How do I look? Oh, wow. It can't miss. Well, then we go ham. Thor Ragnarok was a very fun movie. A very fun movie. Aqua Ball, just for kicks. Just for kicks. Here we go. This guy looked like Blue Element, and I have chosen correctly. Dude. Okay. It's still not dead. Oh my god, that's scary. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh. Look at this thing's element grid. They're so weird. All right, we killed one. We have an advantage. Turn black or free fall minus three. Uh-uh. Build up more. So this thing's black. Let's fight Biba. Biba. Biba butts. Don't kill me. All right, you're going to just just attack. Actually, no. We're going to go to this thing, Cat Burglar. Go for the Biba. It's looking good. 99. Keeps hit percent of basic attacks to 99. Magma Bomb. This could be good. Strengthen, triple fist, triple fist, triple fist, triple fist, triple fist. This is one of the best looking games on the PS1 had. Ooh, that was really loud. You want to see one of the best looking games the PS1 had, if not the best? I streamed this early 2020. Let me turn off the rotoscope so you can get a good view of it. This right here. One of the most visually stunning games on PlayStation 1, Legend of Mana. We streamed this early last year. Oh my God. The visuals in this game are peerless. It's like the pinnacle of sprite design. So good. Oh man. What a beautiful game this was. It was a lot of fun. It was my first time playing it last year too.
Looks like we're winning. Demonstrably so. Oh, water versus water, huh? I'll do it anyway. Well, we know that uh, lagoon thing is really strong. <clears throat> so if we ever use Sprig again. You know. I won! Stamina belt. Ooh. Wait, there's more? No, let me... Oh, no! <laughs> I can't use the same ones! Uh, no, give me my G... My A-team! Oh, this is bad. All right. This is bad. This is really bad. Give me my A-team back! <laughs> Fuck. Uh All right. Well, this is going to be much harder. Yo, Seamus. You love the ability it was called just for kicks. Just, just for kicks. Mm. Uh, Gamali Gook, Cybot, Spearfisher. That that's probably our dangerous enemy right there. Blue, so it's gonna be weak to red. Okay. I think that thing's gonna hit like a truck. Bat eye. Thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. That thing is really hard. Oh, 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 this is fine. <laughs> we're, we're in a bad way right now. Hellbound, Hell Soul, Hell Soul, Sword Dance. Please don't kill cross crossbone. Please don't kill crossbone. Ow. Oh. Oh, we're boned. <laughs> we're getting fucked up. Oh. Uh. Well, we got a stamina belt at least, you know. I liked Final Fantasy IX a lot, a lot, a lot. I, I greatly appreciate that game, but I also understand its flaws. It felt unrushed after like the last quarter of the game. <sighs> yep, I make good money from my not Pokemon cockfighting matches. <laughs> Yeah, Trance was dumb in Final Fantasy IX. They, they, they ruined limit breaks, basically. Zapara says, the side quest items instead was only for a fine. Oh, okay. This is the time to get Janus. Janus. Which one was Janus again? Seven? Oh, this thing is way more dangerous than I gave it credit for. Janice is the one I'm fighting. Oh, okay. Okay. My Wraith is frozen. He's dead. Oh, he hit the Wraith. Never mind.
Hell Soul. Let's go. Uh, Zeus, this is Chrono Cross. There. Nice try. Chrono Cross. PS1. My Wraith is still frozen. This is bad. I'm out of bush bashers. Some bitch. You're doing like no damage, my dude. Oh, we are so screwed. Ah, oh, crossbones. He went down like a sack of bricks. There you go. I have an arrow blaster. If I don't see it as the whole thing, they only let you do it at low HP or aura. Or you just skip turn over and over and over until it gives it to you. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I never understood that. You just skip turn repeatedly until it's like, oh, you want to do that? All right, fine. All right. I think he dodged it. Maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, it didn't do anything. I don't know what that spell does. Ow. This is going well, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Heal. Hello, Lickety. Honestly, I really like nine. Nine is one of my favorite Final Fantasies. But the fun thing about anything that's artistic is you can appreciate something's flaws and still enjoy the hell out of it. Nine has its flaws. Eight has its flaws. Kitty cat, you're blocking chat. My cat is blocking chat. She's a chat blocker. I should have killed this thing first. It's messing us up. Hell soul? I don't think it, a robot has a soul. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So let's do this. You think nine is the weakest of the PS1 Final Fantasies? I think eight is. Personally, I think eight is. Because eight kind of has the same problem as nine, where the end of the game is like unfinished. With a slightly more confusing storyline. Anti-chat cat. Yeah. I'm probably going to give uh, Lickety some treats soon here. We're like out of elements here. Oh, you heard the word treats, didn't you, little lady? Yeah? You heard treats? I gotta just defend. <clears throat> oh, that thing's dead. Wow. This is crazy. I don't think we can win. Look at how little damage he does to it. Wait, he does seven whether it's triple or not? Oh, okay. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Rip. I like Final Fantasy seven, eight, and nine. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I like them all. Lickety, can you get off my mouse, please? Thank you. I think my mods are chilling right now. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. I want to make a casual announcement here that I'm going to be creating a mod application form 
hopefully within the week. Uh, so I expect a lot from my mods, to be quite honest. So there's going to be a lot on there about what I would require from people if, they, if it's something they're interested in. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to select these people that apply either, but it's something I need. I need active, like more active mods. I just need more. Did I hear about the RPG and iOS from the original FF team? Yes, it's called, um, what was it called? It had a really weird name. The whole game is made with dioramas, right? Dioramas? Um, what was that called? Does anyone remember what it was called? It just came out like, a, yeah, Fantasia, and there it is. It looks gorgeous, but it's only an Apple like arcade. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Like, they must have been paid a truckload of money to restrict it to such a very small ecosystem. It's literally just Apple Arcade. Anyway, let's do cat treats. How am I supposed to get Janice, by the way? Does anybody know? Do I need to get her? I don't really care too much. Like, I want to get more characters, but... You know. Lickety. You're not in the proper position. Here. People need to see you eat. Yeah. Good kitty. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. It's a happy cat. Are you happy, Torty? You get your treats? Yeah? <laughs> Are those good treats? I'll move that back a little further. It's like, it's kind of hard to do. Look at her. She's every time I move my hand, she thinks I have a treat. Come on, people want to see you. Nom nom. Let them see it. There you go. There you go. Trying to get Mog's attention. I don't know where Mog is. Usually he's all about the treats. There you go, little lady. Are those good? Are those good treats? Oh, you got a little dry skin there. There you go. Oh, I oh, I missed Afro leaving. I feel bad. Well, bye if you're still here, Afro. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, I gotta win three rounds. Oh, uh, okay. I don't have to do it right now, do I? I don't really feel like doing it. It seems it seems completely extraneous. Let's just do it some other time. I'm more interested in the concert and getting Mickey. Or Miki. I can come back. Yeah, let's do it some other time. I don't really I didn't really care too much for that character. Oh no. Yeah, I don't see Mog. He must be sleeping. There's a way to get more monsters. Okay, fair enough. Some that'll be a later thing, maybe. I'm not really a completionist, so if we get her, we get her. I'm more interested in this experience we're about to have, which I hope happens tonight. We got a good two and a half hours left, so should be able to pull it off. Um. I just need to remember where the hell I'm supposed to go, to be honest. Mm -hmm. As a completionist, I'd be doing three runs to get all the characters. Right, yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm good on that, right? Holy crap. I am a little bummed you don't get to keep Harl, though. That's kind of sad. She's definitely a fan favorite. It's like Square Squaresoft went from, okay, we have this crazy asshole clown named Kefka, who's just like a court jester that they experimented on, right? Let's go the opposite way and make another kind of, you know, jester character but make her the most likable character. 
just go the complete other way with it. All right, so it says we got the sage. Maybe to me that means go to Nikki's boat. If we can't go to Nikki's boat, then what I will do is I will try to go to marble. Modding is such an interesting thing. It takes a lot, but good mods bring so much to the community. Yeah, they really do. They really do. That's true. The, it, the fact of the matter is I have some requirements of mods, and it's always like, okay, these are the roles that I expect of mods. If you can do one of these roles, and I think you're a good fit, then you're probably in. The latter one is much harder to get than anything. Um, cause there's a lot of the time there's people that say they want to help, but then when it comes down to it, they're not able to, they're not able to do the things that I need from them. And, and that's just not useful. Like at that point, you're just somebody who wants a badge. You're not somebody who can actually be useful, you know, like to help build a community. If you do pyramids regularly, you're disqualified. Maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe. The fact of the matter is most people shouldn't want to be a mod like because it's work like it's you're really volunteering to help build up a community uh you're putting in a lot of time to help with that end you really got to want to do it um i'm mods in some channels but at, at the end of the day i can only do so much in those channels and i tell them like i don't really have time to be around as much as you might need me to so i want you to do what you need to do if it comes time you know <laughs> you just don't enjoy hanging right yeah i'm not looking for just more swords in the chat it's not what i need No, and I'm also not looking for people to feel like they need to explain themselves, you know? Like, I, I appreciate it, but that's not what I want. <laughs> it's just not what I want. Uh, like, I want everyone that's here right now to enjoy their time here. That's what I want. I don't want people to feel obligated to do something. The only people I want to be mods are the people that want to be mods. Not the people that are like, oh man, I do it, but you know, like there's this, I gotta wash my hair, like, you know, joking aside, but <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. I want you to have fun first. <laughs> like, just don't worry about it. <laughs> Rock Rocky, I need you, Cub. I did, yeah. Well, now that we're all here, here's my idea. How would you all like to save an island with a song? Ah, I think before you speak, Rocky, you gotta be out of your mind. No, I'm serious. According to Irene's, the island of marble is infested with monsters. The only weakness is a demi-human song that the sage knows. While I perform our gig near the island, these people will exterminate all the monsters. That's the plan. Okay. <clears throat> You do it, but you think you left your house on fire? Yeah, no, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> you might want to get an extinguisher or something. You do it, but you need to wash your hair? No, I'm good, thanks. Because <laughs> you'll help, route, right? Yes. Rocky, I do need help. I shall gather all the demi-humans on this ship to play backup instruments. It will be difficult for humans to play the proper notes for our song. <clears throat> but don't we have to bring this ship over to Marble? Our ship's chained to the Zelbass, you know? And plus we have a contract with that Fargo guy. We can't just leave. Yeah, I know. I don't intend to go with our ship alone. Wouldn't want to disappoint our fans aboard the Zelbass. The only hurdle left to clear now is how to convince my fa uh, I mean Fargo. 
I'll leave that up to you, Ivorines. We have to concentrate on setting up the gig. If you like being banned, it's a great opportunity. Well, if you're only, if the only thing you can offer is being a target for being banned, I'm not interested. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> hey, you know, this is starting to sound interesting. It's almost like a test to see how far we can take our show. Yes. So you will be on this Mickey. Great, let's get ready for rehearsal, everyone. All right, cool. Thank you for your support, Sage. <laughs> I trust you will put on a good gig. Oh, man. I cannot wait to get Mickey on our team. I will use her constantly if it lets me. Excuse me. We seem to have involved you in quite a task. If there's anything at all I could do, I'll be happy to join you. Yes. Oh, we get to name a character. All right. Raffle has begun. You got one minute to enter. Do you want to name a mermaid? A pretty blue mermaid. A um, pretty blue mermaid. Six characters is the max you can use. No more than six. Exclamation point Emmy to enter the raffle. If you already won tonight, I would ask that you try not to enter, okay? Uh, and if you don't have a name ready when you are selected, we'll have to move to the next person. So have a name ready, all right? But yeah, we got a pretty blue mermaid on our team. That's really cool. I wonder if she's good. She might be able to replace that old guy we got on our team. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, sorry. If you won already, we'd like to give others a fair shot tonight. So, with respect, I hope that's fair. I think it is. <sighs> All right. And the winner to name the mermaid formerly known as Irene's or Irenus, I'm not really sure, is Regison. <laughs> Might be time for you to go to bed. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, Tron. We'll be back to, uh, the, for the next three nights, so plenty of time for you to hang out. <clears throat> you want to name her Ban Reg? Are you serious? Are you for real right now? That's your genius name, is Ban Reg? You want to name this pretty mermaid Ban Reg? <sighs> All right. <laughs> The fuck, man? <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> All right. Uh, her her name's Ban Reg. <laughs> you wanted to call her Fish. Fish would have worked, yeah. Oh, jeez. She's like better than him in every way. One less strength. Slightly less hit points. Way higher agility. Higher magic. She's a better element for magic. Yeah, okay, we're gonna use her. She's better. She's better. We're gonna use Ban Reg. <laughs> Unless she has like a terrible element grid, she's better. Okay, also, please. For all of you thirsty folks out there that live in horny jail like myself. <sighs> I never saw that before. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> Booba! <laughs> what are we looking at? Um, uh, you know, just, you know. You know, just uh, some uh, some professional anatomy. You know, you know. She uses picks. Okay, and she she comes with mithril. Jeez, she's decked. <laughs> okay, okay. 
She's ready to go. Let's give her the dancing shoes, the gold earring. And ooh. Who's got the um Sky Gen ring? Here we go. I want to give this to her so her magic's even stronger. There you go. 18 magic. 18 magic. That's on par with uh, the others now. <clears throat> shoes a mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Loki. She's got shoes. Uh... <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mermaids don't have feet. So this is actually incorrect. You're going to have to change that. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry. I promise. I promise. I'm going to give her all her, a lot of these debuffs. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, decrease magic defense, decrease defense, decrease strength. I want to, I want to load her up with debuffs here. I think this is going to be useful. I am surprised it doesn't gray out shoes, yeah. But hey, here we are, right? Suddenly, from across the building, I hear a seductive squawk. I frantically look through the stable. Again, squawk, squawk. This time, lingering is to call me. I finally reach the last stall. I open it to see a fine, thick, majestic chocobo. When your time comes, when you yourself are relegated to horny jail, I will greet you at... She stopped. <laughs> I'm like, well, go, go on. <laughs> she just gave up. What happened? <laughs> Poor Stadaski, dude. You got denied. <laughs> it was too much. She's like, you know what? I gotta, I, I gotta turn in. I'm sorry. We're done. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That was so weird. <laughs> that was so damn weird. Alright. Debuffs. Debuffs, chat. Lower defense. Lower magic defense. Lower magic power. Nostrum? No. Frog Prince. Yes. Nostrum? No. Frog Prince? Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Dude, dude. Thick and majestic. Yeah, she just stopped, chat. She just gave up. She's like, you know what? This Tanaski guy, he's too much. Just, I can't deal with him right now. She just, she, she threw in the towel, man. She threw in the towel. She can't handle your shit right now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, she's at, she's asking you to, to, to take a seat for a little while and think about what you did. Oh, I don't have any innate blue special powers. Okay. What could we give her? Meteor shower. There we go. I don't want magnify or diminish. I want ice blast and I want more ice blast. There we go. That skirt felt. Would you like it to be? Sure. <laughs> she said horny jail and stop. She's like, wait, I wasn't supposed to say this part. And she just cut the mic. Yeah. Frog is a good dude. Frog is a good dude. 
Is Horny Jail warded by the Jailer of Love? No, it's me, actually. Hi. Hello. Thank you, Rasurl, for 69 bits. I don't miss the 11 reference. Where? I think diminish might be actually pretty good to equip. Warden of Love Jailer. Oh, oh, somebody in chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I thought that sounded familiar, to be honest. It's been a while. A long, a long, long while. <laughs> long while. Okay, I like these. She's got potential. I think she's going to be fun to use. Ooh, we want more of these all heals. Can we fit a heal all here instead of diminish? Mm, yeah, good. I like it. She's good. We did it. We auto allocated and then we, you know, replaced what was necessary. I think that's the way to go. Use the Fiddler Crab where... Yeah, 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 I know. I'm excited. I think we're on on, uh, on the track to see the concert tonight. Seamus <laughs> brought us the CDI. Oh, no, I actually quit. Read it yourself. <laughs> Dude, I don't think anyone's used that yet, Seamus. Thank you for 120 bits. Ninja Turtles got some love on the NES. Yo, Juker, how you doing tonight, man? Dude, we just got slammed with Philip CDI there. <laughs> You have a new party member. It looks like she was mermaid for you. See, Juker recently learned that puns destroy my blood pressure. So now he's weaponized it. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know what to think about that. Right, let's go talk to Fargo, right? We got to convince him to move his damn boat. We'll go save, then talk to him. That's what we'll do. You're so hungry, you could eat an Octorock. Breath of the Wild's world's greatest snipers. By the way, if you like Breath of the Wild, we finally started our playthrough of that on Monday. Um, we're going to be picking that back up Sunday. Finding all shrines. We'll use a guide to find the shrines, but not how to solve them. We also can only use items we find. And we have to do all the DLCs, too. It's going to be a good time. It's gonna be a lot of content for this channel that I think everybody's gonna enjoy. Because the the shrine hunt will be a communal effort. We'll all be able to help me. You'll we'll all be able to help. You'll be able to help me find shrines. So that's one thing I'm gonna involve all of you folks in. Not the Korok seeds though, don't worry about that. I'm not doing that. That's there's nine hundred of those things. It would take like two years. <laughs> We're not doing the Korok seeds. That's just madness for a streamer, I tell you. Casual play in your own time, go ham. For a streamer, boy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get, we'll get Koroks if they're there in our like in front of us, right? On your own without a guy, you found seventy Koroks or shrines. Found the sage. Okay. I don't want to hear it, Van Rig. Marble will fall into eternal rest along with Zelbus's soul. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Did I do something wrong? 70 core. 70 core. Yeah, there's 900. 
There's 900 Koroks. 100% speedrun is like, what, 20 hours or something like that? Like 20, 24 hours? Yeah, I know what it is, Zordon. I know what the reward for all Koroks is. Unreasonable is what it is. You want to you wanna see how I know that? Not not the reward, but how I know how it's unreasonable to get all the Koroks? Let me show you. This is the map I have. It's a great map, right? So if you set it to none, you kind of zoom out like this, right? You can see the whole map. Let's just look at Korok seeds. Oh. Well. Is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> No amount of money in the world would get me to do that. <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> More reasonably, we have to do that. Okay? This... This isn't too bad. It really isn't. This is more reasonable. This... This is not this. <laughs> There needs to be more seeds, says Epic Man. Very funny. Oh my god. They say the first step is the worst. However, the step after 899 was a bad one. <laughs> Alright, so Fargo did not listen to me. He didn't listen to me. Let's see if we can't talk to Snuff. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If that doesn't work, we're gonna just go to marble. Mm. Snap's not in here. All right, marble time. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, at least we got the mermaid, and she seems like she's actually pretty good. I hope it works out. Look at how she just flies. That's actually kind of cool. You see that like little effect she has? Watch as she runs around. She has this like magical like f trail following her. That's really kind of neat. All right, marble. I hope I'm going the right way. I hope this is right. Like I wasn't supposed to go somewhere else first. Let's find out. We'll just go to marble. What a good soundtrack. No, nothing here. Okay. Looks like she summons a small wave to surf on land. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I must have missed a text line or something. I feel like I did something wrong, but here we go. If they're not in here, I don't know where I was supposed to go. What did I miss? Do I need to sleep? Yeah, I don't know what to do. Hey, sleep, I guess? I'm try to rest. No, it didn't work, did it? 
what the fuck? <laughs> what was I supposed to do? What did I miss? I need a progress story? Wait, what? I don't get it. Where did they go? <laughs> uh, where did they go? This is very confusing. Story nopers. I know, like, I just want to, like, do the thing with the fun stuff. You can't do it right now. You just can't do it just for some reason. All right. But, but it didn't tell me what I can't, where I'm supposed to. <laughs> okay. You found the ghost leviathan? Oh, you went to a very wrong place, didn't you? I guess we have to go to the Dead Sea then. That's the only thing I have. That's my only guess. This is the only thing I have is use this go here. Cause it's the only thing that the game was actually conveyed to me that as a place I should be going to. Apparently a crab causes tsunamis and earthquakes. Cool. Sure. And here I thought we were going to get the concert. Sorry. It looked like they were ramping up towards that. What is that? Mazamune? Eh? What is the evil short Mazamune doing here? Why is it evil now? It's no use, we will not be able to proceed without going mad. Guy, we have no choice but to withdraw for now. I see. The path appears to be blocked off by that sword. He must already be in there. The negative sentiment associated with that sword is intensified. It will be impossible to proceed without going mad. There has to be a way. The Dead Sea is right under our nose. Yeah, so? Only the Dragon Sword Eidlanzer can break the Shield of Mazamune. The Eidlanzer? Yeah, yeah, that. Yes, the legendary Holy Sword forged by the Dragonites. I've placed that sword to rest beside its rightful owner, Garai. Oh, I know where that is. Wait, Cavern? I thought it was in Termina. May you rest in peace within that cavern. Although it pains me to disturb his eternal sleep, we have no other choice. Where is this cavern? Where is this cavern? We know it today is the Isle of the Damned. Oh, fuck. That place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be an ordinary cavern until it mutated into a nested ground for demons. You know shit. I believe this may be the result of Garai's sentiments with l which lingered. A negative sentiment which the Holy Sword could not even restrain. In order to make our way in there, we need a certain item that Garai used while he was still alive. I have stored it away in a hut where Garai used to trade. We must go and get this item. Alright. So I have to do all of this? All of this. Before I can do the ca the concert, is that is that right? Is that right? 
Are we sure about that? Are we sure about that? Doom, doom. His hut. Maybe it's here. I'd lots of. In one world is in Termina. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I can't go to the other world right now. There's no way to get there. It took you long enough. I've been waiting for it. How the fuck did you beat us here? We left you in that cave, old man. I just totally teleported here. What took you so long? You should have took it us with. Dario's father, Garite, used to frequent that island for this island for our training. All right. How did he get here so fast? He just flew. Well, that guy's not abnormally tall. I lose again. I seem to remember Glenn being able to use those two swords. Do -do. <laughs> Gar is big man of Franker. You, Zapara's got words for you, Roseguard. Huh, you're always a half step too slow. And you have a habit of turning your wrist when you swing down. I can read your every move. Hey, you're about the only one who knows that since we practice together so often. And I thought I was a genius. Yeah, right. Ha ha ha, I am eight foot tall and wear crazy armor with spikes. Do, 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 do. You know, like a meeting concert, man. It's gonna have to be next week, Loki. We'll play this. We won't be playing this again till Thursday, cause I tomorrow I do retro variety. We're gonna have our first ever DS stream, hardware capture on DS. Uh, Sunday, Monday is gonna be Breath of the Wild. Tuesday, Wednesday take off. Though we do movie night and Discord on Tuesday. Um, I'm at actually chilling this Wednesday instead of guesting on someone's channel for once. And then uh, Thursday, we'll pick this back up. Yeah, first ever DS stream, Epic Man. We're going to play some DS games. You need to join the Discord? Do the Discord command. There you go. There you go. Hey, Parks Lady. You came from a late night date? Yes! I'm so happy. I hope it went well. It's really cool to hear you going on dates. <laughs> the Iron Lancer is a legendary holy sword passed on to the most skilled swordsman of the Acacia Dragoons. It seems like a weird spelling of just Ein Einhander or whatever, like the German word for one-hander or something like that. He's going to get a second vaccine tomorrow. I'm getting my first shot on Tuesday. Uh, finally getting that done. And I think when I get my second shot, I may just have to take a few days off from stream. But that won't be like two, three weeks. Like until like two, three weeks after the first. So I might actually have to take days off for that. And I, You know me. I, I absolutely despise taking days off for any reason. But, you know, when your body... Like from what I know, everybody's gotten shot too has ended up with flu-like symptoms. And when I get flu-like symptoms, I'm on my back all day. Like, I just, I, I gotta listen. You know, I sleep, I sleep all day, basically, is what happens. It's just, it's gonna lay me out. I'm almost absolutely positive it will. So we'll see how it goes. Your second had you out for almost 36 hours. Oof, oof, oof. Reg's having a late night date with pizza. That's a good date, Reg. Don't you laugh at that. That's a good date. <laughs> you had your first on Wednesday? That's good, Rockin. That's good. You know what I miss, Rockin? You've been around this channel a long time. I miss being able to play classic rock. <laughs> you were always into that. You were always into that when I used to be able to play that. I, you know, DMCA concerns now. It is what it is. Maybe someday I'll be able to find a way to play music again on some platform. 
Do, do. All right, Loki, thanks for hanging out, man. We'll see you again. You felt like trash for about a day. Oh, that's pretty mo tame compared to most. Mackie. Could this really be it? The Sword of Legend? The Mazamune? My word. Why would the Mazamune be here? Why is it evil? When it was like the best sword ever in the first game. I hope we find out. Leave it alone. There's something wrong about this. What could be wrong? This is a legendary sword. No, don't touch it. See, Garay? There's nothing to fear. Mm, perhaps not. Let's go, Mackie. No use hanging around this eerie place. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, there you go, Epic Man. Hell yeah. It's not AM. You're still awake. Yeah, you're real night owl around here. The Mazamun, that sword is cursed with hate and sorrow. Anyone who lays his hands on it will be overcome with negative sentiments and will be driven mad. I... That might explain why he's not a dragoon anymore. Enough talk from an old man. Just wait here a moment. Yo, Pasta Boy, how you doing today? In a jam session today in another stream? Wait, what does that mean? I don't understand. You tell me to wait here. I don't want to wait. I'm impatient. Oh, okay. Maybe let's let I waited. I promise. I totally waited. Hi. Yeah, I waited. Sorry to keep you waiting. With this mirror, we should be able to make it to the inner parts of the Isle of the Damned. Ooh. Okay. The Isle of the Damned. Dun, 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 dun. It's good music. Yeah, I, I don't understand. How did you have a jam session? You just get your channel muted or taken down if you play copyright music. All right, I'll be right back. We won't do like a long break. I just got to use a restroom. That's all. So enjoy the music. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your patience. We're a hospital, so we need all the patients we can get. That doesn't make any sense. 
So if the Switch Pro was an actual thing, what would you want it to be able to do? Bada bada ba. So Vulich, are you saying you got to listen to a bunch of like old RPG music or something? The sound of the footsteps here? Yeah, because you're walking on bones. You're walking on actual bones. Man, what happened here? <laughs> Shield mode and switch mode? What does that mean? Crunchy hearty, yeah. I am a big fan of beer, Epic Man. I just wish I could drink it more. Too much carbs usually gives me a headache. I like it a lot. Walking a marrow path. What are you doing, Visceral? <laughs> Yo, Juker, are you still out there? That was humorous? No, we're getting bone jokes now. Oh, man. What happened to you all? Who made you like this? Who hurt you? You get red cheeks or you're very pale. I mean, if that's all it did to me, I'd be drinking it all the time. Which is a modified NVIDIA Shield. So Shield mode could be Android TV as OS. What would that do? Like, what would that do for the general Nintendo gamer audience they would be able to intuitively use? Like, I'm asking if the Nintendo Switch Pro is a real thing, what would you want it to do? I'm not really sure what you're wanting it to do. <laughs> I'm really confused. I'm sorry. Your husband thinks it's cute. Nice. You're counting in taxes. Okay. Like you're talking about custom firmware. That's not something it would do. It's something you would have to jailbreak. Deadbeats. Oh boy, okay. Legal Lord, yeah, this game has really good PS1 graphics. Na, na, na. And then Tenno go ahead and make you do a CFW. But what does that do? Like being able to do whatever you're saying, what does that actually do? I don't understand. I don't I don't get what you're I think you're assuming that I or others know what that means, whatever it is you're saying. I don't want to get it. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does it mean if it could do do that? Android TV or whatever that means. I don't understand. It looks like a setup box like a Fire TV or Apple TV. I don't know what that is either. What does that mean? You get to install apps on it. You can do that on a Switch anyway, right? Streaming devices for Netflix. The Switch has Netflix. Emulators? Okay. Use it like you would a tablet mobile phone. Oh, okay. 
I'd have to see some kind of example to, of that to see what exactly the implication of that is. You'd be able to watch videos on it or stream games from your computer to your Switch. Hmm. Interesting. Video Shield's an Android tablet. <laughs> oh, man. Ow. Hey. Why did he just hit us? <laughs> what the hell? Ugh. She plays a harp? Oh my god, that's adorable. She has double heals for her abilities. That was noisy. There we go. For me, if the Switch Pro is a real thing, I would want it to be able to do 60 FPS more often for games and higher internal resolutions. Because a lot of their games, like, they actively downscale to keep the frame rate up. Going down to... It's like from like 480... It, it goes from like 1080p sometimes, most of the time not, all the way down to like 480 or 540p. I'd want it to be able to keep a high frame rate and a higher internal resolution more often. And I know one of the games that was probably the most aggressive about it was one of those Xenoblade games. What was it called? I think it was called Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or something. That game had notorious problems with that where it wasn't able to keep up a high quality video signal at the at the same time as um a high frame rate i think it was that game bam, bam, bam. ragason's a fish waifu apparently everyone You know what else I would like it to do? To be able to output a video signal without being connected to a dock. That sucks. I have to have my Switch docked just for it to output a video signal to an external cable. I can't just plug the cable in. It has to be hooked up to the dock itself. It's like some weird proprietary tech. They need to get rid of that. I just want to plug in a cable and be able to output it. But I think I understand why they do that. It's to, it's so that they can ch keep it continually charged while it's outputting a signal. But still, having that option would be really nice. Having a higher output resolution than 1080p, I suppose, yeah, that would be kind of cool. If the Nintendo Switch Pro is real, you'd want it to run games like GTA 5, Skyrim, or Hitman. Switch from Mario Maker to running people over in GTA 5. Yeah, that'd be cool to be able to bring more modern games into the fold. Reminds you of Xenoblade Chronicles X. For that game, you to improve performance, had to download extra files to the system's hard drive to improve performance? Wow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, Rake. I don't I at all. <laughs> That's what I want to happen. I don't think it is. Switch does have Skyrim, it's true. But it doesn't run very well. It's just an option. Like, hey, portable Skyrim, here you go. You know, it's kind of weird. Oh, by the way, how are you, Commander Keen? Good to see you.
How much damage did that do? I wasn't looking. Man, he hits like a damn truck. Hey, it wasn't done. You can't wait for Skyrim 2? What are you talking about? <laughs> you mean Elder Scrolls 6? <laughs> Come on, Juger. <laughs> Why are you going to do me like that? You're not interested in anything happening in games right now? Oh, that's too bad. There's a lot of great stuff still coming out. You're floored that PS5 happened with no interest in games for months? Yeah, they rushed it. I feel like they knew there was going to be a huge chip shortage, and they were like, yo, we just got to release these, or they're never going to happen. Like, it's to it was totally rushed. The pro name in the name makes it better, Kappa. Okay. You got it. Rockhand, thanks again for hanging out. There's like somebody help. Oh, uh, okay. There's like somebody help, says Belitra. Sure. What can we help you with? The best thing in 5 is the Final Fantasy 7 remake with the extra stuff. Yeah, probably. I mean, Demon Souls would be really good, too. I love Souls, Souls games. I think they're excellent. But it's not a system seller to me. There needs to be, like, five games I want right now on PS5 for me to be like, okay, it's time to get one. There's one game on the PS5 I want. Just one. So it's gonna wait. Now, technically it would be, for me, a better PS4 because I would just use it for all my PS4 games and they'd run better. That's really the selling point for me. Oh, this is trippy as hell. I just went in a mirror. Oh man, this place is gonna be a mind trip, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna be so lost. Oh no. Oh, we just trudge on all these bones. Oh, man. We're in for an experience, chat. All right. I don't know if it's a good one, but we're in for it. I just remember this place being extremely unforgiving to navigate. Oh, no, no, no. Also, remember, I want treasure. What's that suit of armor there? Yeah, AAA game dev is uh, time is nuts. Yeah. Elden Ring. Yeah, I'm interested in that too, Lingo Lord. Yeah. But I mean, there's so many games coming out I'm interested in. Horizon, Horizon Forbidden West, Final Fantasy 16, uh, that DQ3 remake. Dragon Quest Treasures, Dragon Quest 12. Um, what else? Diablo 4. I want to see if that's going to be good. You never know. What is this armor? Suspect. Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay. Well. Ooh. Slottable M2 expandable memory? Man, that would be pretty amazing. This is don't let this place rib me too much? Okay. You want Miles Morales? I've heard it's really good, but I never played Spider-Man on PS4, so I don't really I don't know. There's no hype for that for me. It's just not my style. Alright, I know there's a door there. I just don't want to go in it yet. 
There's treasure I want to find. Uh -huh. By the way, you can see a lot better than I can. My monitor is very dim. Do, do, do. Yeah, this game is excellent. They did an amazing job with this game. Visuals, the music, the aesthetic. They did a lot of things right with this game. I think I didn't have a choice. I think I had to go in that door. I thought I could go down there. All right, let's look around over here. Yeah, okay, we didn't fully explore over here. There's this door right here, for example. This is a door maze. I just went in a door and ended up in the same area, but on a different side. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> these are the worst. These are the worst. This is a door maze. I had no idea that's what we were in for. Ah, okay. Ooh, they usually don't get first attack like that. Airframe. She's pretty good. <laughs> I like that she just uses this harp for some reason. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, she froze it. Nice. It's still dodging. Wow. Nice. They should have done a better job writing it into the CT universe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. There's a significant amount of people who revisit this game after dropping their expectations of Chrono Trigger 2, right? From the years. They revise their opinion of this to a great game. Yeah. It's going to Tibia okay? Oh my god, Epic Man. Well, chat, if you can hear me, we're going to give Mog some treats. Right, little buddy? You hungry? You want some nom noms? You want these, little dude? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Look at him. He's ready. Mog wants treats. What do, do we have? Trans codes? Reg? Nom, nom, nom. Do we have trans codes? We do. Okay, wonderful. Aw, oh, you're such a nice little boy. Yeah. There you go. Hey, what's up, Bismuth? There. Look at you leaving these crumbs. Come on. Eat that. <laughs> Finish your meal. <laughs> he's, so, he's such a fiend for these things. Look at him. He's goofy about these. Here. Let everybody get a good view. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Was it good? Were they tasty? See, now he's done. He's like, okay, I'm going to leave now. Right. Yeah? Look at that tail. <laughs> Just every time. He's got the waggiest tail. He's like a dog. <laughs> are you a dog cat? Is that what you are? Goof. 
He's a puppy cat. Are you a puppy cat? You can still see it just wagging around. <laughs> uh, hey, don't sit on that. The keyboard is not, not a stool. No, get your tail off. All right. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. All right. I'm smooth the keyboard. Yeah, pretty much, Vixie, man. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, let me see if my bot's still working. It's not. All right, I'm going to restart the bot, too. So you guys can do your, like, uh, your stuff. Your sound effects and whatnot. Reg, at some point, I would like to pick your brain about how exactly I can figure out how to stop Comcast from resetting my router in the middle of my stream. I'm going to need, I'm going to need you to use witchcraft or sorcery of some kind to pull it off. All right. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. <clears throat> all right. Bot is restarted. So we're good there. He's still right there. Oh, look where we are. Interesting. Why didn't Boff work? Oh, it still thinks I'm offline. That's why. When it says stream online on my bot, then it'll work. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. We are going to double back here. This is a Unix system. I know. Oh my God. You're quoting Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's a Jurassic Park quote. <laughs> Yo, Frida, what's up? Uh, all right, Reg, try it again. Try the sound again. Welcome everybody from Freedom Pulse's channel. How the heck are you? How was your stream? Tell us about it. Oh my God. That, em that emote is adorable. Freedom, you have excellent emotes. Those are really good. Kudos to you and or your artist. Jurassic Park had bones. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. I'm Phenomenon. We play here retro games, RPGs, some D&D, &D, and Zelda games. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you stick around. I hope you hang out with us. Is that our first raid tonight? I think it might be. Is it? Yeah, it, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> you just finished up Nocturne HD. Yo, how is it? Everybody's talking about that lately. It sounds like it's good. Let me give you a video, folks. Give you a little taste of what we're about while you tell me about Freedom Stream. And thank you for supporting Freedom and coming along on that raid. Hail Queen. Delita. Ooh, there's a Final Fantasy Tactics fan. I'm guessing. Furtskin. Good to have you folks on board. We hope you had a good time tonight. For those of you that want to follow Freedom, you can click on that sub emote right there. I've already been following Freedom. I'm cooler than you because I've already followed them like way before. I'm just kidding. Click that sub emote. There's a follow button. You'll be able to follow them. Yo, thanks again, Freedom. I appreciate you thinking of me and my community. You guys want to see part of a cat? You want to see part of a cat? What's up, Megalith? There's part of a cat. Very small part right there. Hold on, I got this. I got this. I'll let you see more than part of a cat. Cats are frequent content here, so... If you're new here, we might as well, you know, get you up to speed. And I'll give you the crash course. This is my extra webcam. This is my extra webcam, so... I just do it for this. 
<laughs> there he is. He's just chilling on my desk. Just wagging his tail like that all the time. So I had to move my keyboard over here. A Mega Man 2 themed opening speaks to Oh, I love it. That was a fun video to make. That's one of the few videos I've made that I've actually liked making. Hey, little boy. You don't show everyone your butt. That's lewd. Bad kitty. <laughs> He's going to go mess with his bed now. You going to go mess with your bed? Yeah? Yeah, see, it's nap time now. Look at that screen of text data. That's that's your app, Reg. That's your app, buddy. Right there. Reg made that. That's that's my main screen. That's OBS. <gasps> Inception! Oh, it's getting washed out. <laughs> and there's you. Say hi, chat. Say hi to yourselves. Say hi to yourselves. <laughs> Look, it you. It you. Uh, hi, B. Hi, chat. Yeah, see? <laughs> hi, cat. Chat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Master V? <sighs> yeah, I, I've been doing this for a long time, Vixie. So I, before I went full-time streaming, I was working a full-time security job in Chicago for a well-known organization so i had a lot of extra money and i was just investing it into streaming because it was my hobby and it was fun and then eventually it was like wait the streaming thing is actually working out somehow so i saved up a lot of money to try to do it for a living and here we are like over two and a half years later still doing it for a living this is my full-time career as we like to call it Pretty crazy. No, stop missing. Dang. Oh, she, she got the crit to make up for it. Now, with that said, the way I phrased that might be a little weird. Gear does not make your stream better. All right. I just want you to know that. So if you're like a streamer out there or an aspiring streamer, don't fall into the same trap that I've seen so many others do. Don't buy a bunch of expense, expensive equipment and think it's going to make your stream good because it's not. <laughs> and it never will. All it is is polish. You got to have something nice first to polish it, right? Because otherwise, if your stream isn't good, you're just polishing a turd. Otherwise, you just got a shiny piece of poop. You know, and they don't want a shiny piece of poop. Nobody wants that. Ooh, let's do the feral cats. Yes, feral cats. Let's go. This is cool. You're quite, quite proud of your bronze turd of a stream? Hey. As long as it's fulfilling to you. No harm, no foul, right? <laughs> oh, man. That still did a lot of damage. Hell yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think she has any AoE spells. Like enemy AoE spells. Like she's purely magical, but no enemy AoE or spells. Shiny turd bat. Unless it's dinosaur poop. Yeah, there you go. Like all the stuff I use for stream, I've slowly invested in over five years. For the first two and a half, it was because it was a fun hobby and I had money laying around. You know, I'm like in my thirties, I'm single, no kids, just living my best life. And streaming somehow started working out. Yo, um, freedom. How did you get into streaming? I'm curious. If there's any other streamers out there, how did you get into streaming? I like to hear about it. I like to hear from the streamers every once in a while. You've been considering investing in a cloud lifter? Do you know how to use it? <laughs> Do you know what situations it's best for? 
Wow, that mermaid got one hell of a level right there. Strength and defense and agility and magic resist. Everything but magic. That's really good. Whoa, fire pillar times two, inferno, holy light trap. I, why did we get so much loot? Holy crap. <laughs> what did that do? What was that explosion? Did you see that? That was new. No, I don't want to fight that. Don't chase me. Don't chase me. Ha! Ah! It's chasing me. We want to go in that door in the middle, right there. This place is spooky as hell. You may have the wrong sort of mic for it. It depends. That's why I asked. Oh. Look what we have here. I hit the jackpot. Yeah, basically. Oh, there's the bot. Okay, it says, Save for a lot of disaster sometimes when she really trying to 24 hearts back to anyone else to spread COVID so I could never play BGG fire. <laughs> Got a BGG sub. <laughs> uh, why was that so? <laughs> oh no, Megalith, you got into streaming originally because some friends and you wanted to do Child's Play charity years ago as an excuse for you to have your own 24-hour gaming session. No one showed up. It was fun. Nice. As long as it was fun, man. Yeah, bum links ban reg. May you all rest in peace. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Here lies Kefka. He never boned. No, Gary. Never a day passes when I ever look back on that day. Oh, boy. Freedom, combination of things. You did let's plays and stuff when you were in junior high, high school. And you had a lot of fun with that. So when you decided you wanted to start speed running from watching GDQ and RPG Limit Break, streaming the attempts just seemed like the thing to do. I want to go to another RPG Limit Break. Isn't that where I met you? <laughs> I met so many people there. It's so hard to keep straight. I'm pretty sure that's where I met you, though. <laughs> Uh, attending Limit Break 2018, 2019. Yeah, 19 was the one I was at. I was doing tech volunteering. We met through Kios. That might have been it, yeah. That's probably what it was. Were you at his party on that Friday? Where there was like everyone was there and we all got sick and I brought a bunch of like bourbon or whatever and it was freezing out. It was like freezing cold. Yo, we're at a hamburguesa. How you been, man? Bismuth, you have a slightly better than superficial understanding of its purpose. You can't get a straight answer at the moment on whether it would help in AT 2020. No. No, you, you can't use it with a condenser as far as I know. It takes phantom power to function. If It will pass the phantom power to the cloud lifter, but not your mic, so it won't work. That's my understanding. An AT 2020 doesn't need a cloud lifter, man. Just get a preamp if you're needing gain. Don't get a cloud lifter. Get like an actual preamp. Or my, a mixer, I guess, if you're mixing multiple audio sources or a channel strip. I know, it just depends. It really depends on what you need, you know? Like, what are you trying to get for your mic? Like, what is your purpose? Because I've heard, I've seen people say, yo, I want to get a cloud lifter. And it turns out that they wanted to have less noise on their mic. So they were just going about it the completely wrong way. You didn't know about it until after it happened? Oh, bummer, man. That's too bad. You need some gating? Then you should get a channel strip if you need noise gating. That's not what a cloud lifter is going to do for you. What the... <laughs> now I'm the top swordsman of the Acacia Dragoons. I did it. I'm the greatest. Yeah, the bad sword drove him nuts. Oh, what happened? Oh, Lord, what have I done? You were possessed by an evil sword. No. Boop, boop, do, 
boop, boop, boop. You could just do what you need with OBS filters. Just use noise expander. An expander. Let's see. Expander. Yep, there's an expander plug in an OBS. No, don't enable it. Oh, God, that probably just did weird shit to my mic. <laughs> yeah, just use the expander plug in an OBS. Move the mic closer to your mouth, like here. You got a condenser. An AT2020 is in a condenser. Move it like here, like an inch from your mouth. Then you can use way less gain, which means it's picking up way less gain from your environment. And then you can use an expander below a certain decibel threshold, which you find out by speaking into the mic and looking at your decibel thresholds. You find out where your voice lies, right? Anything below that, you put in the expander threshold so that it's quieter than everything else. You don't need gear for that at all. You just need a better mic technique and an expander plug-in. <clears throat> Do I know I lost my sanity because of that sword, but I must admit the sword is not entirely to blame. I was jealous of Garai. I wanted to be the better swordsman. The once renowned Mazamune, the holy sword that conquered darkness. Could it be merely a tool for murder? I don't know. Oh dear. Someone in your chat tell you about Expander. Expander is like a noise gate, but it's more gradual and natural sounding. A noise gate is literally anything below that threshold, bam, stop. Nothing gets through. And you can hear it sometimes. It's like, it sounds like a little pop. Anytime it opens and closes. An expander is anything below that threshold. It just attenuates it and makes it quieter. So it sounds more natural. And usually it makes it quiet enough that you don't even hear it. The sword is basically the ring in Lord of the Rings. I'm getting that vibe too, Epic Man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting that same vibe. Oh. Oh. We need the Iron Lantern to seal the cursed evil sword. Then express your intent to Iron Lancer, as a true swordsman would do. You must defeat me to proceed. In order to believe in what is right, one, must one suffer pain and sorrow? Do not hesitate. Show me the pride and honor of the Acacia Dragoons. Come, Maki. All right, let's go. So if you don't have a mic arm, Bismuth, get one. <laughs> Put your mic on it. Put the condenser like here, somewhere here. Not here. Not this close. You don't need that close. Also, make sure you got a pop filter too, or at least a windscreen on it. All right, he's light element. This is great. We have two characters that are dark element. Dun, 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 dun. All right, moonshot. Yo, Graves, how you been? I've been liking your tweets lately. I see your your tweets quite often. Twitter thinks that I should listen to you. Because I like listening to. <laughs> you usually have interesting things to say. They're chaotic. I know. That's why it's interesting. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Hold on. Ban rag first. We want to lower its defense. Yeah. That's, uh, they're interesting. I don't know what to tell you. There we go. He lowered his defense. Triple cut. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Ouch. Oh, he's got that. He's got that status effect right now. Let's do revenge. We should be able to transfer it. What you been up to lately, Graves? Stream wise. You had time and all. For why you became a streamer, you're not sure you have a good answer to that. It seemed like something you could do, and you're supposed to find it enjoyable. A hobby, right? 
Right, so all the cool people have mic arms. You don't need a mic arm, but if you're using a condenser mic, you probably could benefit to it. Like, it's going to benefit almost any microphone type. Panic and more chaos, lots of RE Village. I've been playing RE Village on my own, and I'm relearning that I can't do horror games by myself very well. It's why I used to stream them. Because when I play them by myself, I get way too scared. <laughs> I get way too scared. <laughs> they just freak me out. Like anytime I go through a door and then, then you know, Mommy Dami just steps like ducks under the door and she's just waiting for me there. My heart's just like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm like freaking out. Uh <laughs> It's too much. She freaks me the hell out. Mog. Poor Mog. Mog is learning that his nails are shorter right now. He just had a vet visit today and they uh, they cut his nails shorter because they were too long. He tried to latch on to something and his nails didn't work. Poor guy. He's going to have to learn. You're not pleased with a lot of it, but if you're playing on your own, totally different story. Gotcha. You gotta work on your lighting. You know what I used to do for horror streams? That I turn off all my lights, so the only lighting would be the monitors. Um, literally, that was it. Oh no, I actually had a TV with like a red ambient light on it for like mood lighting. So like a red LED lighting or something too. It really helped the mood. I think that, I think it worked pretty well. You think you've had a heart attack tonight? Oh no. Why well, Slick's dead? Oh dear. This is going fine. Who's got revive? She doesn't have it. Shoot. He's dead. Oh God, does nobody ever revive? Okay, there it is. There we go. Your one little USB LED ring light, throw a red filter on it. That would be really cool. That'd be pretty cool. All right, this thing is just focusing on links. Will breaker. Uh oh. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god, this thing is scary. I don't know if we're ready for this. We'll use our last bit of, uh... Revive. Man. Alright. Alright, alright. We got we gotta heal him much higher. Cure plus, there we go. Do that. Whew. Okay. Okay. All right. Jeez, this guy's tough. Um, hmm. I think I need to lower his attack power. I don't think I have that set on anyone now that I look. No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I like her so far, Cloudy One, Irene's. Regison won the name raffle, so of course he named her Ban Reg. <laughs> the big goof. The big goof. Here you go, free fall. 
This should do good damage. That was good damage. Bump, 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 bump. Triple cut. Oh God, please don't kill me. <laughs> this thing hits too hard. Okay, that's better. That's better. I can manage that. Hmm. I think we should do this. Recover all. That was really good. Okay. I do not have an attack power to decrease. That's really what we need. I actually like that he's hitting her because she's not dark element. So she takes less damage. Hmm. Uh, I should probably heal her. Defend. Elements do you have ready? Moonbeams do it. But anyway, I was talking about, um, you know, what got people into streaming. I'm always interested in hearing people's stories to that end. Damn, he keeps interrupting my attacks. Oh, triple. Why you gotta do triple? <laughs> What a dick. Oh, man. All right. This guy's just rude. Ban Rag is the prettiest waifu. Is that true, Rag? Are you the prettiest waifu? Oh, this is not a heal. Why did I think that was a heal? I misread that. Stops everyone's elements. No, this guy's all physical. We don't need that. If we're almost dead, I'm gonna run. There are, you can run from almost every boss battle in this game. Nice damage, nice damage, okay. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. That hurt a whole heck of Rooney of a lot. Nice dodge. All right, she needs to heal herself. She needs five element to do it though. She's not getting five element. If there's no good elements to use on him right now, then defend. She might be able to heal him. Healer. Cure plus, there we go. When I started streaming, 
I'll talk about why I started. Since I think everyone out here. Is. Oh no. Oh. Already said why. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Uh. In it was like 2015. Nice, we lowered his his, his uh, accuracy. It's 2015, and I heard somebody at work at the time talking about Twitch, and they wouldn't stop talking about it. Which fine, you know, they were really really passionate about it, which is cool. So I was like, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna look it up. Cause I had a Twitch account at the time, but I never really used it. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna look up the most obscure Super Nintendo game that I really liked as a kid. So I look up Seventh Saga. This is JRPG. Rather poorly localized game. And there's this guy playing it with like 180 viewers. And I saw that thinking to myself, there are this many people that want to watch this game. And his name was PJ D Cesare or something like that. And everyone just calls him PJ. And there was a lot of conversation happening while he was apparently speed running the game. I didn't know what speed running was at the time. I was like, wow, this is cool. He's destroying this game. I've never seen anything like this. So then I start seeing people subscribe to his channel. And this is again, we're, you know, recognize this is the first stream I've ever been in. So-and-so subscribed for 18 months. So-and-so subscribed for 20 months, five months, whatever, right? At the time, I didn't understand what that meant. I thought people were literally front-loading like years of subscription at once. <laughs> Cause like outside without context, that's what it looks like. It's like, it looks like somebody was just like, here is 18 months of a subscription right now. Wait, what? <laughs> like, I don't, wait, what's happening? Like I was so confused. Obviously, we didn't, you know, everyone that's watching for the most part knows that's just how many months in a row you've subscribed. But I was blown away by the level of excitement for what was ultimately a very mediocre game at best. I was like, man, there's like a, a niche for everything on this platform. So a couple of months later, you know, I started watching it every day, like watching Twitch every day and finding channels. And a couple of months later, I decided to try it myself. I don't know if we're winning. I don't think he's weak yet. Maybe he is. He might be. I don't know. He might be. And I was like, if there are people that want to watch retro games on Twitch, then that's what I want to... That's what I want to do. So the very first thing I ever streamed was on SNES 9X and it was a re fan retranslation and a double Zenian XP patch for Breath of Fire 2. And I had no idea what I was doing. Like I made a layout for it. I found out how to get on screen chat. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus, this guy. Uh, Jesus. So I did all that. Did I win? Where's that phase two? I don't know. The Breath of Fire retranslation, Breath of Fire 2 retranslation is excellent, yes. It is the way to play that game. The game makes sense because it's full of quality of life upgrades as well as a story that actually makes the game make sense. <gasps> we won, that was, that was getting really close. 
So I didn't know what I was doing, though, when I started that stream. I thought, oh, if there's people in chat, you talk to them. So there were stretches of 20, 30, 40 minutes at a time, multiple times during that, like, three or four hour stream, where I said literally not a single word. <laughs> not one word, just dead silence, me playing the game. I thought you were just supposed to talk to people. I didn't realize you just had to, like, be entertaining. <laughs> Like, you actually have to entertain people on Twitch? Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoops. Man, the mermaid is really good. She's turning out to be really well. Dragoon's Honor. Ooh. Your bum received a lot. <laughs> Ragus is so strong. I've always been prepared to fall to a sword held by one of your sons. Perhaps Glenn will take on that role now that Dario is gone. No, we didn't get Glenn. We missed him. Because you apparently have to refuse to help somebody multiple times. It's so unintuitive. I must attend to some unfinished business. Please wait a little longer. Garai, forgive me, my friend. What game is rare, Cloudy? Honestly, I feel pretty good that we won. I'm surprised there's no treasure here, though. You know me. I go I go to dungeons for treasure, and we didn't get any. There's even that, like, suit of armor there that did nothing. That's kind of a... You were thinking Ein Einhander? I've heard of that. I don't know what it is, though. I've heard of it. The name is familiar, as far as a game goes. All right, can we get out of here? What is this suit of armor? Seriously, this is something. It's clearly something. It's clearly not something I can interact with right now. So it's time to leave. This nightmarish hellhole. By going the wrong way repeatedly. Whoops. Uh oh. I got stuck. So yeah, basically got my start streaming because I realized there was people on Twitch that really liked watching retro games. I was one of them. I was like, well, this makes sense. Maybe I can do it too. So in February 20th, 2016, I did my first stream. And it went really well. I guess. I mean, I, my description of it made it sound terrible, but ultimately I had fun with it, you know? Like, I enjoyed it, so I just continued from there. Yvonne, it's, it's Zooey Hander, remember? Zooey Hander? That's what we like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a side-scrolling shooter made by Squaresoft. Oh, no kidding. The hell? Is she confused? That was weird. A Zooey hander. <laughs> uh. Panzer Dragoon Zvi remake is coming out this year next year. Yeah. I wish they would like just port Panzer Dragoon Saga. That would be pretty cool. Einhander was strange but fun. You had to go in lurk mode convincing a horror director to be on your podcast. Did you get it? That's really cool. I hope I hope that works. I hope that works. Alright, let's get the hell out of this place. Let's 
place is not not a happy place. <laughs> Your first stream on Justin T. You streamed on Justin TV. It was Final Fantasy XI. Wow. Wow. And you were being embedded into a bigger streamer stream. Wait, how does that work? I was never around during those days, so I don't know what Justin TV was like. Also, what resolution and bit rates did people use back then? Like 10 years ago or whatever, right? It was like legitimately like 10 years ago. I'm always curious about how the tech worked back then. It had to have been so janky. They're going in order, so Saga's next, but you imagine it's rough going. I really wonder about the rights of that because it's never been ported to anything, has it? All right, we made it out of there. Honestly, I feel pretty good about that victory. That was not an easy one to have. Yo, Zyfreak, I need you, if you have access to the bot's database, I need you to look into something. Like, does it have chat logs on it? Because if it does, you're gonna need to look at our chat last night. We got a lot of stuff last night that it needs to not learn. <laughs> okay? Like, some really bad stuff. So, we gotta make sure that it does not repeat any of that stuff. And it probably won't be hard for you to find. If there's any way you can look into that, you'd be saving us a lot of headaches. used XSplit and it was pretty much predefined rates, but you think it was like 1200 to 2000 bit rate. That's not too bad. It was long, it probably was like a 480p or 360p stream. It doesn't log usernames, but it logs the messages. Yeah, you're gonna wanna look at the messages. There's gonna be a ton of repeats. Stuff that you will very obviously notice does not belong. Hey Freedom, thanks again for the raid. Thanks for hanging out. It was good to have you again. Do a close-up of my face. Why? Why do we need close-ups? We don't do that around here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> How was that? How did I do? <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> oh man. I'm too fast. <laughs> uh, yo, Bregan, how's it going? Uh, no, no. None of those words are really bad words for the most part. No, it was all stuff that was extremely offensive. Okay, so I got the sword, the S word. Do we go to marble now or question marks? Or do we go to dead, dead sea? I'm not sure. I ruined the fun. What did I, <laughs> what do you mean? I did the close up for you. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh. You can't do marble yet, so do I do Zelbes? Oh man. Let's see if they're on the boat. I did a close up. What do you want from me? There you go. I gave you a second one. That's it, though. No more. <laughs> uh, you could do clips, or you could look at the current VOD as it's streaming, actually. 
Let me on the thingy. Hop on. Bragan, thanks again for seven months. How are you? Do, 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 do. Come up with an idea to convince Fargo. Tired and stressed. I'm sorry to hear that. They're not in here. Rock it, fuck it, roll, baby. You're trying to stick your false lashes. You just took off the mo to the monitor on my head as eyebrows. <laughs> Hold on. All right. I'll give you one more. This is hilarious. Hold on. How's that? <laughs> hmm. Okay, that should be good enough. <laughs> They're so crooked. Ex excellent. It fits my personality. You'll DM the photo to me before you release it to, release it to the wild. Oh, don't worry. You are more than welcome. <laughs> you are more than welcome to let it loose if you want. Well, Fargo, how do we get you to help us? I found the sage. It's about time you left. Oh, man. Wow, this guy is absolutely morose. All right, we can't convince him yet, can we? Hardy, we have a quota of one person per stream to make a joke like that. So I'm gonna already beat you to it, man. I'm sorry. It's like every stream. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. It's fine. I'm just saying, like, it's like every stream. So it's like, is it funny? It was the first like 20, 30 times. And now it's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's going to be. Totally, totally going to be in the movie. We haven't gone here yet. I don't think in this world anyway. But if you haven't heard why I actually wear these, the style is because John Lennon wore these, but the, the function is because they prevent my ocular migraines from, from streaming. Ah, such good music in this. Yeah, I used to get ocular migraines about two to three times a month. So it would get like this flickering, haloing blindness in one or both eyes, and then disorientation and fatigue. And the theory was uh, that it's due to eye strain. Because I have four monitors right here, and then a CRT monitor right here, so technically five monitors. There's a ring light there, panel light up there, and fill light on the other side. Lights everywhere, right? So I was like, okay, let's get some blue blockers. Let's try that. So I get these from Zenny. They are blue blocking, they're not polarized, they're mirrored, and they're circular. So it was all the things I wanted in sunglasses. Or sh blue blockers, technically. I don't use these outside, really. Mm -hmm. 
And ever since getting them almost a year ago, I don't know, the better part of a year, I've had two total ocular migraines. Two total. Why is my phone blowing up? Oh, because it's the internet. Right, anyway. What are they, crazy? I warned them, too. They were crazy. Blocks, yeah. That's what they're called, Brosidon. Yeah, yeah. These are 50 bucks. Can you believe that? All that customization, $50. It's kind of nuts. So I actually like reached out to Zenny. I'm like, yo, let's do some kind of like partnership thing. Because there's people, more than one in this community, who have specifically told me they got some, they got some kind of glasses from Zenny because of my story about these. I mean, it's just that they work for me, so. <laughs> Here's a red. Oh, that's cool. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. <laughs> Grapes. Uh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my god, Graves. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's see. Is this going to work inside of uh, a login? No. Darn. Do, do, do. It's in a, it's in a private message. I can't show it off. I'd have to like download it and then move it over to another computer. It would take a long time. I don't really know how to do that quickly. I'm not sure if there is a way. Hold on. We could do this the, the janky way. I could literally just show you my phone. This is the janky way. Uh. <laughs> this is the best I can do. Uh. <laughs> it's really orange. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it gets really orange up close. Because I have blue shift on that. Whoa, what the hell is this rock roach? Okay. That thing looks mean. This thing might be pretty mean, actually. Oh, but yes, what's going on? Didn't hit the button. Didn't hit the button. All right, let's destroy this thing or try to. Damn, a crit only did 82. Spin off! There's two enemies? Oh no, I did not see that there was two enemies. Oh dear, okay. That's much more intimidating. She's definitely not a physical attacker. I don't think we're supposed to be here right now. This ain't looking so good right now. Turtle beetles. It's still not dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Afraid and fatigued. Why is it? You know what? Don't question it. Just 
I'm just gonna roll with it. All right, feral cats, here we go. All right, we killed one finally. Oh my goodness. This is intimidating. Huh. No, oh, just hit it again. Oh, wow. Nice evasion. Um, hi, that's a bomb. I don't want to mess with that. I'm kind of scared. Oh, I hope this does good damage. Yes, that was good damage. Okay. This better be worth it. This is like boss battle almost. Nice. Okay, we won. Oh, there's bombs? Oh, good. <laughs> Why would it there be? Um, I guess we're fighting bombs. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is fine. Uh, huh. Well... It went close to the one that's almost dead. That's, that's spoopy. Oh, it keeps dodging. Oh no. Oh no. All right, this is what we'll do. We'll do three, three. No, oh frick. Please don't kill. Okay, we're good. Whew. Could have been a lot worse. That could have been a lot worse. 100 damage, that's no big deal. Denodorite? Denodorite? That's new. We've not seen that before. All right, I think we've pretty much discovered we are not supposed to be here yet. As long as that fight took. I kind of like this like mystical sounding music though. Man, what a good soundtrack. Darn. I was hoping it would get me to that treasure down there. Are you guys all right? I thought you were goners for sure. Nah, we cool. But quicksand is the entrance and the sand boils the exit. Now why couldn't I figure that out? Come back in a little while. Okay. Apparently they're going to make some openings for us. Sin, oh man, I haven't seen you in a while. You're triggered by it? Yeah, I figured I could get some people to get upset. <laughs> uh, I figured a couple people would be like, this is the dumbest question I've ever seen. Maybe it is, but I still need to know your answer. <laughs> Current trigger's all right, I guess. Yeah, I had its moments. Capsules, okay. Yeah, we don't need those.
bum, 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 bum. All right. Well. Sin says, Sin by Game says it was a masterpiece. Are you still at Ubisoft? I haven't talked to you in a while. I know you've done like game dev for a ton of different places. Chrono Cross came out. This game's awesome. Let's be fair. This game is great. Is it better than Chrono Trigger? Mm, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Riders Republic. I've not heard of that. Whoa. Oh, there's that. There's the Mads one. An Assassin's Creed series. That's cool, man. I hope you're still enjoying it. Do do. I know. I know the last place you were working at probably burned you out. It was a little too crunchy. We'll say. A little too. Uh, well, you know. You know, you know. <laughs> I don't need to say where it was. That's up to you. You announced it last year. It's a large open world game. Yeah, I usually don't play games like that. So that's probably why I didn't see it. Come on, old man. Use the sword. The sword is a reflection of one soul. How I pity you. You've done no wrong either. Bleop. He destroyed it. I just hope that one day that sword will be freed of enmity. Fetch quest complete. The last place told you your job was finished and that the game was done. After all that crunch, you know how that went. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We know. Uh, ultimately, I actually really enjoyed that game. I did play it for myself. Um, there was a lot of uh, a lot of things I would have wished for it, but maybe you know, over the next few years, it'll get better. How do I like? I'm trying to like. I want to show this image Graves took because it's so freaking funny. It's so funny. Wait, is this going to work? Oh, I got it to work. Okay, cool. I don't know if Graves is still here. She might be. Here. Window capture. Urfin. Urfin. Urfin view. <laughs> Look what Graves did. Graves, what did you do? <laughs> she put her fake lashes on the monitor. <laughs> uh, your expectation was open world Deus Ex. You got that and liked it. Uh, I haven't played those. So I was really just kind of going into the whole experience, not knowing anything. Like, not at all. <laughs> It's pretty funny. She has outdone herself. She has outdone herself. <laughs> uh, that's too good. Thanks for creating content for us, Graves. <laughs> the Dead Sea. I cannot imagine what kind of spectacle lies ahead. Spectacles. Do, 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 do. Hey, why are we still here? There you go. Did I play the newest version of Chrono Trigger that links these two to the games the other evening? No, I did not. Yo, listen to this song. God damn, this soundtrack is so good. Look at the water, it's frozen. The waves are at a standstill, and what is that dark shadow in the distance? 
The treacherous ocean, the earth condemned by dragon gods. It is not all that bad. Oh man, this is fucking cool. <laughs> Dude, it's like time has stopped here. Wow. Can you imagine, like, time is frozen? You would just be able to walk on surfaces. Highway ruins south. Is that a save point? No. This is seriously cool. What the hell? Look how high tech this looks. I'm starting to think this is connected to Lavos in some way. I've played this before, but I don't remember much anything about it. But this looks like 1999 from Chrono Trigger. Like right before civilization fell. Lavos was the reason the time gates existed in the first place. So it would stand to reason it could shatter the timeline in some way. All right, Sin, thanks for stopping in, man. Full time stat would render you unable to move or breathe because the air would be effectively solid. Yeah, true. Like atoms would stop, right? Hmm. Wow, this is su supremely trippy. Oh, here's some treasure. Anti-red. Okay. These even look like the... The cities. Like, it looks like the architecture from Chrono Trigger in those advanced cities. It just has a similar vibe to it. Whoa. These are definitely connected. <laughs> This is where the story gets dangerous. Yeah. Hold on, Tristan. Don't forget, man. Don't forget. You got this one. You got this one, Tristan. <laughs> Space hedgehog create method for its own demise. A stable paradox. A stable time loop. Right? Oh, that's an enemy. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Geos. Okay. It is dark elements. Not hard. We're standing on a highway with road signs. She's seriously good. Like her stats are overpowered. Like she's almost as good as Lynx. She's more agile, she's more accurate. She has more magic. A little less magic resistance, way less defense, a little less strength, almost the same hit points. She's seriously good. It's going to suck when she leaves. <laughs> it's going to really suck. This looks like the car you race, Johnny. It's the same. It's just green instead of blue. You race, you use this th kind of car to race Johnny and Chrono Trigger. That's fucking cool. <laughs> the idea was the gates were created by the planet itself as a sort of life flashing before its eyes right before Lavos killed it and left to parasitize another planet. 
No more capsules. Okay. That's fine. How do I get that one down there? Wow, wow. I think I have to get down there. I have to go around. More input, Regison. More input. Oh, well, that looks mean. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna go, go back. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go back. Chad, you didn't let me go back. That was mean. I am like seriously excited to see more of the story of this game now. Why does this look like an enemy from Final Fantasy 7? Is it just me or is this an enemy from Final Fantasy 7? <laughs> Yo, Mega Zero, what's up, man? Uh, how the heck are you? Ow. Eh. Meh. Could have been worse. Ah, she missed. Looks similar to Motorball. Was that what its name was, Jerk? Yeah, it looks like the boss you fight right before you leave Medgar. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Nice damage. It's not dead. Holy hell. Hmm. Oh, good. Status effects. We like those. It's not dead. Jesus. Rampage. You brought this exact team on your playthrough? Oh, no kidding. When we get Miki, I'm going to start using her instead of... Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it's that instead of the mermaid. But the mermaid has turned out to be pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. That was a lot of damage. Oh good, our accuracy is like gone. Oh man. It's gonna be hard to kill if we can't hit it. All right. Ice blast it. This might kill it. Duh. <laughs> It's not dead. Holy crap. She's hitting it. All right. I think we should do recover all. Rag, can you give Zyfreak a hand if you have time? Are you willing to do that? Like, yesterday was full of awfulness, so it shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too hard to narrow it down with a couple pointers. Man, we cannot hit the broadside of a barn now. You don't have timestamps for the first four hours of yesterday's stream. I guess 
It was like half the stream. And I don't know your time zone, so I don't really know. Dun, dun, dun. You don't have timestamps in the log. Oh, okay. Yeah, Reg, are you able to do that? All those, all those hit, but like two, so. Jesus, this thing needs to die. These are hard. What is it, dark element? All right. Let's try arrow blaster. It's not dead. Oh my God. You sent a PM? Okay, thank you. Jesus! <laughs> Fucking die already! <laughs> uh. <sighs> well, this is going fine. She was the one with revive. We'll have to fight it later. I am so glad you can run from like every fight in the game. It's pretty impressive. Dun, dun, dun. Para must have been dead at the time. Well, that's unusual. Capture. Man, the music here is incredibly good. I don't want to stop, but but it's five in the morning. <laughs> Twitch is having issues, a lot of issues. So that might explain it. Oh, cool, I can save here, like it's the world map. This place is spooking me the hell out. All right, folks, 